do 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 That was a stupid idea. Okay, it's up on Twitch, and then I'm just waiting on YouTube. Oh, so I can hear myself through Twitch, I just don't see it on YouTube yet. Come on. There it goes. Okay, it seems like YouTube's ahead of it, the game this time. Alrighty. Uh, let's see, I need to make sure I keep developing my shit. I'm just gonna start doing that now as everybody gets in, because we do have limited time. Let's see, what are we getting here? Maybe public health growth. Let's do that. Because then you guys can't really get much here. Hey, oh, Drowsy. How's it going, man? What's up? Ah, uh, not much. Just doing, uh, well, <laughs> waiting for things to calm down upstairs as we're doing a com little combined um, birthday thing for my roommate and my girlfriend since their birthdays are close. Hey, oh, Gabby. How's it going, man? Um, so things are calming down with that, although it's just about to get worse because my girlfriend's about to get here and she's bringing her pup this time so that Lanny and Lucius get to hang out with pups. With another pup, which is twice their size. So that's going to be interesting for them. But in the meantime, I'm trying to continue showing off uh, this campaign for everybody today. I'm going to see how far we can get today with the amount of time I've got. And I know for myself, uh, I need to make sure I do a post on my community tab saying that we're going to take a tiny little break from the um, Ireland campaign. I'm probably going to play this one for a little bit. And next weekend is going to be when I'm going to let people start selecting generals. Ooh, pups? Yes, pups. Because um, Lenny and Lucius, well, not literal pups. It's Because um, Lenny and Lucius, or, well, Lenny's like almost four now. Lucius is about almost a year now. Um, and I don't know how old Phoenix is, but that's my girlfriend's dog. Um, and Phoenix is this like 40 pound, maybe mixed with like Border Collie in uh, Pity. Um, and it's like this 40 pound dog. Don't know how old she is specifically, but I always refer to a dog as a pup, no matter how old they are. But she's going to be bringing Phoenix over here to hang out with the other dogs and stuff. So I'm excited for that. Also, there's cheese. Let's see, I like how detailed the map is. You can see the Swiss Alps in Switzerland. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think they did a pretty good job of remaking the map in uh, this. Uh, I'm so happy that I know when I was initially seeing the game, um, there was the one setting that they had maxed out, and I don't know why, because it's this one. It's the uh, campaign vibrancy, which is making it, it's, which makes uh, Italy look so weird. I don't know why they decided to have the saturation on max by default. I'm so glad I can turn it off because that was like my one griping point with the game and it's perfectly fixed right now with that. But let's see, because right now, I think from last time, I'm going to have us try and kill off the Saxons or at least take out this city of theirs. Because if we can take this out and just maybe sell it off to the Franks for a maybe some sort of an alliance, um, that'd be wonderful for us. Um, I do want to take my diplomat and let's actually kind of bring you around try and drop you off on the mainland so he can try and uh, talk to some of the other factions. Try and see if we can get an alliance with the Francs, if possible. I'm going to probably spend, let's see, I'm on turn 34. Let's spend three more turns um, trying to just build my economy up, and then from there I'll try and build up my military a little bit to try and start expanding out of here. So we're just going to keep focusing on economy a little bit. Let's see, you guys, more public order bonus. I need more money but I don't have many things I can do for money. Really don't. I, oh, I can get a fort here. That'll definitely add some help. That'll add 100 there. Yes, please. Grab that. Keep bringing my diplomat around. Let's see. Uh, let's see. So my my dog is like eight years old, and my family still first to him as a puppy. Oh, what kind of dog? So the goal is just to conquer France and the UK and a bit of Germany. Um, Well, the uh, goal for this campaign, because we're kind of going just for the base, um, victory conditions, 14 settlements, direct ownership or whatnot, We've got four currently. Um, we're going to try and basically conquer France. We're going to attack the Saxons and kill them off, but I don't think we're going to actually expand in here that much. So maybe at most we'll kind of have like to here, down, and then kind of into Iberia. I think that's what we're roughly like what the goals are of this campaign, is to kind of do that. Hey, oh, Gabby, how's it going, man? Hey, oh, Jamie O'Keefe. Yay, they only added the saturation option this week because complaints. Ma imagine a Total War game listening to feedback to improve the game. Oh, I'm so glad. I didn't notice that. I didn't notice that that was a thing that they actually added recently. 
Because uh, I've had this since uh, I had access as I was in there. I just only recently noticed it. Because um, I... Because with this, it looks so much better. Like, Italy was way too saturated. I know everything over here looks actually pretty good, even if it was saturated. It was just Italy looked really awkward. Everything else, like, looks pretty decent, but when you can turn it down, it looks so much better. Okay, you guys... You guys' popu uh, public order is not the greatest. Uh, why is that? That is primarily tax penalty. Oh, yeah, because I jacked up the tax rate. I can lower the tax, then to go back to normal tax rate. And then it's just the main issue is the fact that you guys want to be Christian. And I don't want you guys to be Christian. We are going to stay pagan. Let's see. Thank you, fam. The point of this remaster is to train new employees and for months. I can kind of see that. Let's see, uh, German Boxer is my dog's breed. So are we taking Denmark too? Um, well, no, that's kind of the thing. Like, when we invade, when we invade the Sa uh, the Franks, or, sorry, the Saxons, um, I'm gonna have it so that we'll take this city and we're gonna sell it off to the Franks to try and get an alliance with them. That's kind of the goal. Um, so we're gonna kind of ignore Denmark for the most part. Okay, you guys, next turn I'll move you out so you guys can drop off. Uh, why is there no settlement in the area of Wales? Um, that's just kind of how the... What, there, I don't believe there was a city there originally in Barbarian Invasion. I remember Barbarian Invasion being pretty sparse on cities, for the most part. And so I'm pretty sure that's just the base of uh, the settlements they had here. Glory Romano. Okay, what else can I get for builds? Because you guys, that was the only thing that was really harping you. Well, let's just keep getting the better temple for you guys. That'll help with public order. Not going to help with money, but... I just want to spend a couple more turns trying to improve our economy a little bit before we start trying to get out of here. And we'll try and... I have to first get rid of the... I have to get rid of you guys. I have to kill you guys off, and then we can try and leave here. Can I actually recruit... I cannot recruit my legionnaires here. I can over here. So I can bring my guys back and retrain them over there if I really want to. Yeah, no city due to the original game limit. Yeah, the original city limit. Um, which I remember, if I remember correctly, I believe they were trying to lift that a little bit in this First Council of Constantinople. Oh. Um, they are trying to kind of expand what the original engine, engine could do on that with factions and cities. Franks and Saxons, are those uh, basically just barbarian tribes? Yes. So what will be our long-term uh, campaign goal for this? Be? Um, again, it's going to be the fact that we're going to be trying to... Um, Basically, this is going to be kind of a shorter stream campaign, I think, for myself. I kind of want us to conquer just uh, Iberia, France, and that's about it. Conquer those two. Kind of have a, a kind of a proper Western Roman Empire a little bit. Let's see, technically, uh, France would be either Francia or Gaul historically. Ye. Okay, we are now on turn... Okay, we'll do one more turn of building up. Ready to sail. You, let's drop this guy off. Go, I now have a diplomat over here. So we can start kind of walking around trying to do some diplomacy. Yes, Captain. And I could actually also go for this city first if I really wanted to. I want to deal with the uh, Saxons because they attacked me and I'm at war with them. But also I could try and attack uh, more of the Western Roman Empire to kind of build myself up because this could probably make a decent amount of money, honestly. Let's see. Uh, I want to ask if people know and if people want what countries are in some way. Center from Ireland? No. Because for me, I've already, I know I've talked about this quite a bit uh, on stream before that um, my mom's side of the family has a bit of Irish, a bit of Swedish, a um, little bit of German, not much. And then my dad's side is a lot of Scandinavia, mainly Finland and um, Norwegian. Um, and then I've got a bunch of German on that side too. I know I've talked about that before on uh, on streams. You know, one more turn, and then we'll kind of figure out my military. Because I think I might, I might bring those guys back over here so I can kind of retrain my legionnaires. Because you guys are beat to shit. I can't retrain my cab over here, can I? No, I don't have that building set up right now. I could get it if I had enough money, but I do not have enough money. Oh, and I gotta ban another motherfucker on my Twitch. Cause fuck this guy. I hate these little things. So, ban that guy for trying to say, hey, wanna be famous? Yeah, fuck off. Oh, no, I wanna ban him. Wrong button. There we go. 
ban that motherfucker because I do not want that guy to be spamming in my Twitch. And then get YouTube back up. If YouTube will get up. There we go. It gives us in from Italy, Germany, Ireland, Scotland, England, and Wales. Um, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, one more turn in. One more turn in, and then we'll start trying to uh, expand out of here. Family members. Money situation. Okay. Because now, at this point, we're roughly making about 1600 per turn, which isn't the worst. Um, I also noticed that Scotland is pretty much non-existent in this game. Pretty much. Pretty much. I I think that was kind of the base Rome one as well. They never really went that far north. Um, they did go a little bit further north in... Well, actually, it was kind of weird with how they did it in Medieval. Medieval had... No, Medieval did go a little bit further north above this area. Uh, that's cool. There's a lot of mixes. I wouldn't be surprised if my family's more than Wales and Germany. I probably have a bit French and a bit of Indian, not much. I know for myself, I really want to do at some point one of those proper um, DNA tests. Just kind of see what's going on with that. General. Also, let's bring you over here. And then I'm going to try and let's push these guys out of here. The enemy. Hello. So you've got a bunch of generic infantry archers. So let's kill you guys. And then I'll try and punish my forces a little bit. Ooh, is this actually going to be a river crossing? Ooh, I hope it's going to be a river crossing. Come on, let's have it be a river crossing. Because if it is, then that's what kind of made it a little bit interesting. As I know, at least in Rome, they actually let you cross through the water. I don't know why. I was kind of interested in that Medieval 2 never lets you do that. My yep, priests have watched the skies, and the birds and all the heavens move in our favor. Such good portents should never be ignored. We must take the crossing and Please, carry the fight to the enemy. I, believe... I have never lost a battle against these people. Why should I start losing now with men such as you at my command? Another victory is at hand. Uh, historically, they were just never able to now, conquer the Now you know my like reputation and skills. True, that's why they had Hadrian's you, Wall and whatnot. Wall has yet to so I guess they didn't really uh, feel the need to show much of the Scotland in that. Um, which I don't know. They didn't take Ireland, but it was there at the time. I believe they did know it was there. Um, they just never got past Hadrian's Wall. Alright, so let's see. So this is one of the little passes. It's not a straight up bridge battle. We've got at least a few areas to kind of walk across. I am so low on infantry here, my god. Okay, well I'm gonna hope that I can maybe convince them to walk away. Archers there. And then cow. I'm gonna hope I don't get you guys killed, but I'll have you guys probably walk across one of the passages, like maybe over here. Kind of flank them. Okay, start the bottom. And then can you guys advance on me? That'd be great if you did. Of course not, you're not going to. I do find it interesting that I was actually playing a little bit more of my Skippy Eye campaign uh, last night. And I find it interesting that in Rome, Rome doesn't deal with my bullshit as much with the whole uh, luring city people out of cities. Uh, I can't believe you guys are Damn it. Okay, well, let's have you guys start marching across. You guys have your one. <laughs> Barely anything for your general. This guy should be pretty easy to get rid of. That's it. I think it was the weather. I'm not even joking. I could see it. I could see it. A bunch of angry barbarians, and then also the weather's a bunch of shit. Uh, it was also the Roman ones most uh, territory, so it's hard to bring reinforcements due to the constant invasions from the gods. Yes. Okay, you guys, let's have you just kind of walk across. I'll try and have you guys distract them. And then uh, when uh, you're distracting them, we can then slowly bring my forces over. I would prefer if they would come to me, though. God, I find it interesting that this is half my army. Because I like this little bar, it kind of gives you an idea of the strength of the forces that you're selecting currently. And you guys, I'll bring you guys around into these trees. and now start running out of, your, out of the water. I'll kind of go into these trees, into the trees, and then we'll kind of flank them and see if we can get a good charge on their infantry. Archers. Let's start moving you guys over. Just casually walk. Um, my archers try and get to about here. You guys kind of go over there. 
And you guys kind of run over here. Or actually, you guys kind of run over here. Since my general's bodyguard uh, has such a large uh, bodyguard. And obviously, yeah, you guys actually run across. Run across. Let's kill this one unit while we're able to. Please charge this guy. It seems like he's got his back turned to us. Let's see. Um, most of the most what I meant. Um, I find it fascinating how when we are nearly just go over here. Um, I still wonder what they made the monitors. Um, that's a good question. Um, I could have some theories as to specifically why, but I'm not sure exactly. I can kind of see mainly it's the idea of that uh, the whole idea of like a divine right is kind of like the main thing that was really spouted on. Um, not as many. Oh god, you guys are gonna Try and run over here. Am I infantry really taking that long? Yes, you are. Oh, thank you for stopping that charge. Oh, thank you for stopping that charge. Oh, this is archers actually. Yeah, general, please run them down. Infantry, please focus them. Archers keep trying to run around. I'm so glad you guys just keep stopping there. Oh my god. Uh, well, it was also because of their Please leave me alone. General mop up their archers and then try and help out against this guy right here. My infantry's kind of stuck. You guys get back over here. Oh, are they not going to? Yeah, they're going to ignore me. Perfect. And my infantry's breaking. Damn it, I need these legionnaires! You can easily break this guy. Archers, you should be able to just start shooting them right here. Although I'd actually prefer the general. What was the general down? Once they're dead, then this should be pretty easy to first run them all down. Go off the side here. You guys go back over here. Almost all my legionnaires are dead. Push my men back into the river. Yeah, that definitely had to be a factor for sure. So many little areas pressuring for independence. Oh my God, die already! This is real water. This is my Archers, let's have you start focusing on their remnants. Because it's just the general's bodyguard that's left, which my cab should be able to kill off. Come on. Come on. Just don't lose my own general. There we go. The enemy general is killed! Why do we kill? Fear makes a home let's continue in running it out a little bit more. Yes. I better recover a decent amount of my infantry. Otherwise, I'm probably just going to have to get a bunch of generic dudes. Such a victory. Oof. The Let's see. Uh, my legionnaires did not recover many. Damn. Okay. Well, if anything at all, my legionnaires are expensive, so I should be able to replace them with cheaper units. Because all of my uh, legionnaires had like what a 300 unit uh, per turn upkeep. Oh yeah, I'm making a lot more. Honestly, I'm gonna have you guys merge. I'm gonna merge my legionnaires. They're just so beat up that I don't see the need to keep them like this. Um, I am gonna try and let's see. Oh, these guys are crap. I'm probably gonna go back over here and get some more legionnaires. Honestly, because you guys, I do need another ship. Which let's see, that's. Give me a Byreen here, and then I'll try and make my way over here. I'll try and retrain one of my Legionnaires, and I'll try and recruit some more of them. I'll probably also give those Mercenaries over since they're pretty cheap. Hey, Odra, how's it going, man? Yeah, I'll have so that... Are you guys happy with just this one General here? No. 
No, you are not. Uh, if I recruit a generic unit to kind of be a garrison, you guys should be okay. So let's grab some of the coastal levies as a way to keep you guys happy. And I'll have you guys start making your way over here. Also, I want watchtowers around here now. Oh, there's also more mercenaries I can grab, too. Oh, there's quite a few mercenaries, actually. Oh, I can get more of these. I can get more of my knights. Ah, oh, yes. I'm going to save up for that. Okay, can you guys get a little bit closer? Let's go over here. What are you guys doing, anyways? You guys are still here. They still control that land. The Franks are here. Looks like the Franks took this little section here. Okay, good. You guys are happier. Um, let's keep bringing you guys around this way. I can pick you up at least next turn. And then I'll bring you over here. I'm going to train this legionnaire that I've got. And then I'll give you the mercenaries. I'll have you try and just recruit um, just a coastal levy to kind of watch over this area, probably. Well, give me another mer a legionnaire. Give me another legionnaire. And then next turn, I think you'll have enough that I can get... I want to grab this. I want to have more of my Grail Knights. These guys are powerful and they're very useful. So I need to make sure I have a couple of them. I love how we just have a discussion currently going on. And like, oh, why are there so many monarchies gone in, mo in uh, more modern countries? It's kind of an interesting question. I don't have much to say about it, so I'm not reading... I'm reading through your guys' questions, but it doesn't give me much content to talk about in the stream. It's fairly fascinating, though. Uh, let's get rid of monarchy. Okay, let's get you guys into here, and then let's start retraining you guys. Technically, it's letting me retrain you, but I know you're not going to actually replenish your units. Uh, but grab those, and then let's get one more legionnaire here. And then next turn, I should be able to have enough money to get that knight, as I'll just kind of go down this way. I probably should retrain this guy, too, if I can. I don't have enough money to really get anything that's going to help with my economy. Ah, uh, I can get this market. I will save it. I don't worry too much. Uh, let's see. Glad they kept the music from the original Rome. It's my favorite in the entire series. There's a reason why. Uh, you'll notice if anybody's watching my Rome 2 um, campaign right now with Athens, uh, I have the mod that gives me back this original music. It is by far one of my favorite soundtracks for Total War, by far. Um, I know I really enjoy this, the soundtrack for Medieval 2 as well, but there's just something about the Rome one that I just love. Okay, so let's grab all of you guys. Out of there, you're a little unhappy, but I think if I just give some coastal levies here, you'll be fine. I could also lower the tax rate. No, the tax rate's already low. I think you guys will be okay. I'm an out. But let's drop you guys back off here, and then I can get that mercenary. There we go. Imperator. Did I actually know? Oh, you just got with the new weapons there at least. Okay. You go around. I need you to group up with this guy. And then, can you guys retrain that ship? Uh, I don't have enough money right now, but I'll try and have you retrain that later. Let's see, a lot of monarchies ended up at a lower Part of the ship because of the Honors also didn't lose damage because you lost money. The damage of the world you pay. But now, how many guys do you have in this city? Uh, I can't tell. So, I know I'm going to be trying to take out the Saxons. And then running away like a little bitch because I do not want to fight them very long. There we go. Hi, friends. Thank you. Let's see. I want to try and offer trade rights and map information to you guys. And they accepted it. Perfect. So right now my reputation's not the best. Uh, that's great. Um, these guys actually do like me. Would you like an alliance? Very demanding. Okay, then I won't offer that for now. Um, I'll try and offer that once I push these guys out of here. The guys didn't make them disband. I believe they disbanded because of internal problems. I need to learn more about the Ottomans, honestly. I know I haven't looked into them as much as I probably should. 
Um, also, you guys, uh, I think I want to bring you down this way. I don't need this extra unit here. I can actually probably take two. So I want to make sure I'm using as many of my guys as possible. So I'll have you kind of go try and group up with these guys, and then we'll be having you head out to the Saxons. You're sitting there for a little bit. I need to actually at least train you guys before I can do anything with you. Because you guys... There we go. Now we're training them. Ah, uh, Londinium is pissed. Ah, uh, guys, can you not? Let me get another one of the coastal levees to help out there. And then you guys keep making your way over here. Ah, uh, you join up over here as well. So in about three turns, we'll roughly be able to leave and have a decent force ready to go over and take out the Saxons. Hopefully, they aren't going to want to murder me. Um, I am going to be releasing them upon the world as a horde, which is going to be fun. Yes, I know this fleet is here. I wish I could turn that off. Our fleet is under attack. Ah, damn it. I'm glad I don't have anybody on here. Your lives. Well, I was trying to go that way anyways. Ready to sail. Honestly, I might not be able to just go straight after sure. you guys immediately. Just because of how dangerous these fleets are. I think I might actually bring you guys back down here. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for Rome. I'm gonna go for this settlement right here. Because it's only got one guy in it. Hey oh Jason Dowdy. How's it going, man? Let's see. Uh the Allies didn't get the chance to split it. Australians and fallen prior to the Treaty of Trinion and the Treaty of Saint Germain. But, you know, I think we're going to have to try and go for over here, uh, simply because I mm, I don't know if I want to trust my entire army and my king over here where they might die. Uh, who else could I talk to? So that's going to be a while until I then get to you to try and maybe use that as a way to talk w uh, with a uh, getting a line to you guys. Okay, because I know... Where are the other factions? Because this is the original settlement that you guys start with. I know there's one to the south of you guys. I'm trying to find them. There's Eastern Rome over there. Letting information Eastern. Oh, there's actually rebels right now. I didn't know that the Eastern Roman rebels had spawned yet. Okay, yeah, you keep making your way over here. Group it up with us. And then as soon as we're heading out, I'm probably gonna need to make sure that I spend more of my money. Please let me through, Rebels. Although, actually, I might just do this. Let's just do this. Uh, let's get let's get a try ring. And then I'm just going to get rid of you guys. So I'm just going to disband these. I'm just going to disband this fleet. Because you guys are stuck. For the most part. And I'll just have it so that I just grab another navy here to bring you across. Um, let's see. Also, Rampan, do you know what happened to the Romanovs? Uh, I did not. Uh, let's see, just starting my conquest of Romus Thrace in the Indies Barbarian Empire, I was trying my army with recruited horse archers, which is actually a blue skin unit. Huh. Let's see, the Turkish Revolution wouldn't have been as successful without the Turk or the like figure. Hmm. Okay, but yeah, you guys keep gathering together, and hopefully you guys keep this one unit here. That'd be great. And then, because I need more money. I'm barely making money, which is good, but I don't have enough to properly expand um, my cities as I would like. So, hopefully this makes a decent amount. Honestly, I know for myself, this is maybe just a tiny thing. I'm kind of sad that um, I don't see the money amount right under the city. I like that. I like seeing that just readily available right there for me to see. That's kind of information I've always liked having. And you're stuck. God damn it, guys. Um, let's see, you guys are pissy. It's primarily squalor just since the capital. Um, actually, I should make it so that... Oh, I was going to say, I was going to make it so you were my capital, but you're kind of pissy. Okay, get another dude here. Another dude here. But at least they're good garrison units. I need you guys to move. I'll kind of have you stand over here so you're a little bit closer. Next turn I should be able to get them out of there. Hey, OG Master, how's it going, man? Let's see, didn't the British kill the Romanovs? Yes. Uh, they were murdered in cold blood by the Russian revolutionaries. The children were 
I knitted it and mutilated it. They are flat out murdered in cold blood. Actually, that kind of does sound familiar. Okay, please let me across here. Um, also. Uh, construction, recruitment's the main thing. I should still be making money after that. I'm just debating if I can lower my taxes a little bit. Because I need to get you guys across here. If anything, I could probably get rid of these mercenaries as they're kind of expensive, especially you. This unit's that expensive? Really? Wow. I guess it's if they have some sort of javelin. Oh no! One of my family members died. How dare you! How dare you die of old age? Wait, who the hell's right here? That's yellow. Wait, who is that? Who is that? I'm curious what's going on in the world. So I have so little information on what's going on right now. But you guys, at least. Ha ha! Yes, let's already. Oh, my goodness. Oh, goodness. Uh. Make the sound. Oh, it's actually going to take two turns. Oh, I'll just get the siege tower then. Ladder siege tower. There we go. Besieging settlement, sir. Um, and I think the reason best for strong. Jesus! That is pretty gruesome. Yeah, I'm barely aye, getting any money right now. Aye, aye, Hopefully this settlement makes a decent amount. Oh, it's a large settlement. Ooh. Okay, also, who owns this? I am curious who owns that. Awaiting your command. Without delay. Because let's keep moving you down command. this way. Your honor. Oh, did you guys take out? Yeah, you did take out the Amani. Oh. They seem to be doing very well for themselves then right now, if that's the case. Oh, she's fire and fire, cost and hums. Actually, guys, you know what? Because I love that they even have the cheats work the same. Um, let's take a look at the map and kind of see what's going on. So right now, oh, the go the uh, Astrogoths are here. Huh. Oh, and shit, Jesus. Okay, you guys are having some fun over here. Uh, seems like the Romans are now imploding. Uh, oh, the Huns have taken Constantinople <laughs> and Thessalonica and Syrumim. The uh, Sassanids are kicking Eastern Rome's ass. Uh, for the most part, yeah, a lot of the barbarian factions, Rome has rebelled. Wow, they are imploding quickly. Let's see, Romanovs is at the Romanians now, apparently don't let me blame the Russians. I have just seen them They fought for coming in through Greece to death. Nice! Um, are they Russians from Rome? <laughs> On Sassanople! <laughs> <laughs> Love it. It's your friend Nicholas. This time. Yeah, no. Um, oh, also, the Western Roman Empire is being pushed out of Africa right now. Uh, it's going to be interesting how you guys develop. It looks like you guys are kicking some ass over here. Okay, so we got the Goths nearby us then. Interesting. Okay, continue that siege. We should be able to make a decent amount of money from this city, honestly. If anything, just from sacking it. Oh, they're just archers in here. Oh no. You just have archers. Whatever shall you do? Wait, my general's gonna die if he loses? His army will fight to the death. Why? Let's see. Uh, yes, I was the royal family at the time. Okay, so let's take this settlement, and then honestly, we can probably start trying to make our way to the northeast from here. And. Because I'm not going to fuck with the rest of France for now. <laughs> not now. Not while the, all those Goths are there. Let's see, my best army has 12 missile units and 7 winter javelin. Huh. That's what happened to them at the end of the winter. Yeah, so let me have one of my guys just sap one of the walls the and then just taken, rush right in to kill these archers. Because they're not going to really easy to be deny us victory today. With such portents, we need only march upon the enemy. They cower behind their walls and pray for help. These people have yet to taste victory at my expense. Today will be no different. So lay into them with a will. I want to see blood. I want to bathe in their blood. I want to bathe in their blood for a week. Now, kill them all. Hmm. Okay, start deployment, and then, uh, where's my, oh, I didn't get the sound. Oh, this is gonna suck then. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have my legionaries. Uh, basically, I'll have it so that you guys 
We'll just rush the walls. You should be able to run, right? Ah, oh, no, you guys can't run with the ladders in Rome 1. Oh, it's only in Medieval 2 you guys can do that. Aww. That's a shame. Oh, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. Well, at least once you guys get on the walls, you'll take the uh, towers. Please stop them firing. Oh, and the ram's burning. Damn it. Get out of there. Do I have another ram? I do not. Oh my god. Okay, those are active. Take them back. Get them to stop shooting me, please. Oh wait, this is weird. Like these are different. Oh, there are mercenary growl knights and then my growl knights. Okay, well you guys should be able to get through the gate now. So go do that and just go kill that archer because that's all we really need. Right now. Yeah, I just need the towers to stop shooting me. Hey, they're part of an eastern block of the world. Oh, you guys are still shooting me. Stop this, please. God, the towers are broken in Rome 1. Okay, well, you guys should be able to easily handle the archers here. Hi, guys. We get a volley and get fucking wrecked. <laughs> okay, that animation was kind of funny. I like, lost 153 guys because of those towers. God damn. Oh, my general killed like that entire unit himself. Let's see, this modern plane has classical half lights which have cloth under their shields. Ooh! Nice, that's some nice accuracy. Let's see, I don't know if I'm dying in the Speed of monarchies, ruins, do you think guys made the right? Uh, let's see, all the ruins are still in the middle of Oh, that's a nice amount of money, yes. 18,000, I will take it. I will take all that money. Okay. Ooh, we can get aqueducts. I'm going to first get the port, though, because I need to make sure you guys can start kind of trading with uh, my guys up here. And then, ooh, oh, I can get a mine upgrade. I have so much money to do so many things now. Um, get the better roads. You guys get the better roads. Everybody get the damn better roads. There we go. Hey, family member. We should be making a lot more money now after this. Especially once this trade starts up. I need spies, honestly. I can't get spies, but I can retrain my guys in here. Which I will gladly do that. Let's see, what up? Are we enjoying Barbarian, uh, Barbarian Invasion Remastered so far? Oh, I'm loving it. Like, I know I have been praising this. I think this is, like, exactly what I wanted from a remaster. It is exactly what I want. And... I know some people are still going to be annoyed that it's like, it's not a it's not a remake. It's like, uh, I prefer it as a remaster because I, I don't think you would have gotten the same... Because there's a... The same feel. The small little details would be lost in a remake. And for me, I have been playing this so much, even like... I know for myself, because of my channel, I haven't been playing a lot of just Total War on its own in my own campaigns, because I'm doing so many campaigns for my channel. But I'm enjoying this so much, I've been playing a uh, Skippy Eye campaign on my own time and going through that. We just had the, uh, I just had the Marian reforms, uh, Marius reforms or whatever it was. So I'm loving this so far. See, the roster of race in this mod is like 600 years. Holy shit. Let's see, I think the Eastern Block of the Moon was more very wrong. So I know for myself, I'm absolutely enjoying this. The game looks so much better. I can't wait to see what we're able to do with mods for this. Like, I'm hoping we can just get one-to-one -one ratios of mod conversions. And if we can get that, oh my god, this is going to be so amazing. And it's going to make me want a Medieval 2 Remastered. And I'm going to hope that they might consider one. I'm really hoping they might consider one if this does really well. And I think... I think it's actually like uh, one of the top sellers right now on Steam, actually. And so I'm hoping it's going to keep up with that. Let's see. For the cost of 6 Athenian horse archers, I just killed 951 Romans. Oh, wow. That's pretty good. That's pretty efficient. Okay, you guys... What are, why are you guys unhappy? Okay, squalor, distance capital, culture... Oh, actually, we should switch our capital. 
Um, now that we've started to expand over here, we need to switch our capital. Um, I'll have it so we're going to make it Londinium. Um, that is... Where is that little button again? Uh, ah, here it is. Okay, so let's make this the faction capital. Although, actually, let's look at uh, economy. I want to see how this is going to help with. So right now, we are making 1780. But this is our capital. We are making a little bit less, actually. Just a little bit less. But I think that will help us overall in the long term. So let's have you guys get some more dudes as free upkeep. Or not as free upkeep. We don't have free upkeep. Uh, just as more garrisons around here. Do that. Um, let's see. We're going to let the open pack. We'll only have been able to get out of 1962. Thinking. Hmm. Yeah, because I know eventually we're going to be expanding more over here anyway, so it's better for us to kind of build this area up. Keep retraining those guys. And then... You guys are actually pretty happy right now. There's a lot of unrest, but that'll go down. I still hate how every one of my guys wants to be Christian. I'm not letting you be Christian. We are going to be pagan. Uh, also, I don't have any glorified Wachtar builders right now, do I? No. No, no, no. Okay, well, I will then just have to maybe get a spy. You can give me a spy here and I can drop them off. Let's see, so you are basically started there with the stone. stone. Um, it is eight, has a eight star, 32 year old, two star, 18 year old, and four, 22, four star, it's invading in my army. Huh. Those are some pretty beefy generals, my man. Okay, let's see. So, for you guys, how are you if I leave these two? Ah. Uh, they're a little upset. A little bit. But I think if I have you guys get... Um... I'd want to get the Parker just increased again, because that's going to give me more... Oh, come on. There we go. Let me click the button. Uh, that'll give me 204 or more. So yes, grab that, and I'll just recruit some more guys here to watch over. Although, do I want to have you guys move out right now? I don't know how many armies they've got around here. Let's see. We're going to scout a little bit. I don't think I'm going to specifically advance on them just yet. I kind of want to kind of see how weak they are around here. Pretty weak. Uh, also, what kind of mercenaries can we get around here? Ooh, I can get more of my Grawl Knights. There's a lot of mercenaries around here. Ooh. I'll get more of you and you. Because I need more infantry. There we go. Yeah, you know what? Let's go over here. Let's go take you out. Uh, get one more watchtower right here. They have like nothing. Wow. How are they doing? Let's see, how many uh, maps are there in this game? Um, what do you mean specifically on maps? Um, like, battle maps? Campaign maps? What are you specifically meaning, Gabe? I see, absolutely agree with you, Rampan. I bought it day one, been dreaming for a remaster for years. Hope they do Medieval 2. If they do a Medieval 2, I can die happy. Because for myself, I still think like Medieval 2 and Rome 1 get the best feel for Total War for me. They have like the best balance overall. Um, I can enjoy the more recent Total Wars. I can. But... I don't have the desire to keep coming back and going through campaign after campaign after campaign. Um, that's kind of the thing for myself uh, that kind of feels a bit weird in the more recent ones. Whereas in Rome 1 and Medieval 2, I always want to go back and do a new campaign. I, it's got, it scratches that itch. Uh, you guys are riding here. Let me get you another dude and then repair that. Let's see, the 18 year old has two silver chevrons and bronze weapon armor. Oh, Jesus. Also, who here knows that Lenin is from so, Sounds normal, so it's like that. Like campaign maps. Um, campaign maps. Uh, we've got Barbarian Invasion, Alexander, and uh, the base game. So technically, there are three, three campaign maps. Uh, although Barbarian Invasion and Rome 1s are fairly similar, um, there isn't a whole lot of difference between the two. Okay, you guys are almost done there. Um, did I get that agent? No, I was going to try and get one. Because I want to get a spy. And I need to start kind of exploring around here. That's still controlled by the Astrogoths. 
<laughs> no, my, no Minecraft stream. Big sad and angry. Hey, hey, hey! I'm, I'm, tr I'm streaming this first. <laughs> I need to get, I, I need to actually get back into playing uh, the Minecraft server a little bit. I've just been off it for a while. Um, simply because I have just been playing a lot of WoW Classic and this. Those have been the like the two main games I've been playing recently, and I haven't been doing much else besides that. Uh, yes, you're an inactive fleet. You're going to continue being an inactive fleet because you're going to sit there. Let's see. I think one thing that makes me go to my favorite Total War game is the modding community. No matter what, you can always find another mod that will be fun to play. Yes. I, I love when a game embraces its modding community because a modding community, while it shouldn't be there to fix the game, it's... It's amazing to see what some of um, the modders are able to come up with and what they're able to do with the engine. And it's very ingenious and I love it, seeing that ingenuity in mods. Um, like I know the Zardums is actually a great example because recently they've been able to do a lot with the Zardums mod. And I just love being able to see that kind of stuff as to what can be done with the game. I uh, can't say I mind much, actually, as I'm about to hold a council and wouldn't be able to attend anyways. Um, there is a theory that if... Ram when someone mentions me to major ejaculation. <laughs> I can only become so erect! After it, that's it, basically the, as soon as I find out if they do actually decide to go with a Medieval 2 Remastered, i be like, wait, guys, guys, I can only be so erect. <laughs> Let's see, my class is a very good place, a lot of enemies within their borders. Because, I, I, I know, like I said, I've, I've, I enjoy some of the more recent Total Wars, primarily like Warhammer is a great one, but I think that's more so because it's, I, I almost would kind of use it as, um, I know this is a random thing as why I'm bringing this up specifically, but with people that have known my channel long enough, you'll know how much I dislike, um, Episode 8 for Star Wars. Technically, uh, it kind of, it's kind of the same, thing, same idea. People could argue that Episode Eight for Star Wars was a good movie, but not a good Star Wars movie. For me, I can I can kind of argue that Warhammer, is, the Warhammer Total War, is a good Warhammer game, but maybe not the best Total War game. It's kind of what I kind of think. Let's see, mods get permission to players be created with the game. Yes, and I love when. Like, you can see what players and care, uh, just modders can do with the base game because there are some things that the developers won't consider trying because they're like, oh, no, that one, people wouldn't enjoy that or something. They're trying to be more conservative on how they're developing the game to make it so you can make a profit. But modders are like, no, this is just a passion. I'm going to fucking do this. Let's see. Uh, Yo, Rem, have you heard they're doing Rome Total War Remaster? I'm going to shoot uh, this star was awful for me to the original screw them with. Uh, it won't be uh, I hope that they can make it a lot easier to mod. They can make it, uh, have more settlements and types, troops, etc. Because I don't know specifically- Ah, damn it, he died. No! No! Wait, you died! Did you just- What? Did I just have a guy come of age the same day? Yeah, because you died. Yeah, you died. New son adopted. Oh yeah, so as soon as my faction leader died, I adopted a new son. Um, I know for myself, I can't wait to see like what modders can start doing. I have done a little bit of modding in Medieval 2, a little bit. Like My Daedra campaign is a great example. But I don't know the ins and outs. Um, I've kind of looked around in the files. I haven't done anything specifically because I'm not supposed to mod it right now. But I almost looks like for the most part, it actually does seem like they, like the file structure is almost the exact same it looks like to me, just as a quick glance. And so I'm hoping modders will be able to easily mod it. And I can't wait to see what it was able to come about with Rome Total War Remaster mods. Like, I can't wait. I, I can't fucking wait. Um, let's see. Hey, don't just Mandalorian or Rogan. Those are both pretty good. Um, Rand deletes the Pelotic Heroes for starting to transfer to Ram. Uh, no, that's not how you're supposed to play the game. Right now, Damien, they're not discussing something that's specifically political. Oh, actually, there's 
food and stuff there. Never mind. It was starting initially with the whole idea that people were talking about, oh, why has there been the, the decline of um, monarchies? That's what originally started that conversation, um, da Damien. I just ignore stuff that's too political in chat. Um, I just don't acknowledge it because I'm not trying to be here for that. Um, and preferably, I prefer not talk about it. We can hate on the Disney trilogy, but I just don't want to deal with politics, honestly. I still say this, you can just like Last Jedi, however, the ninth movie would have been better if they didn't just focus on retconning the Last Jedi image. That's true. That's true. I just hope they'd honestly just retcon the entire goddamn thing. Uh, also, do we actually get our secret weapon properly built up here? Yes. Okay, so we don't have a sapper. Damn it. I should have built one up. Oh, that explains why I found a yeah, no, that was the original conversation piece, is people were running like, oh, it's kind of a thought process and talking about, oh, hey, why have monarchies, like, declined over the years? And that was the initial interesting thought process. Don't want to talk about politics. But, yeah. I think The Last Jedi was one that screwed up the narrative because of Ryan Johnson. I still fucking hate... Yes, we're going to go on a tangent about Star Wars now. <laughs> this is what I do. I do this occasionally. I always do this. Um, I, st like, I, I will always kind of look to it and be like, oh, okay... Yeah, so I hate Ryan Johnson. I fucking hate there him. Have been many I think he's a horrible fucking both good writer. And bad. And with director. such confusion and in the heavens, it is up to us to He just wanted to destiny. fuck what was already there. I hate they the idea that he didn't start um, he didn't even watch the previous movie before writing his own thing. As if that and I'm like, dude, them. so you disregarded the entire previous I have movie. Never lost a as it's a these people. Fucking Why trilogy. I start losing now with and I still love that there's like, oh hey, there's this uh there's this casino scene. Takes up about a third of the fucking movie. You could Prepare not have it there, yourself. and nothing would have changed. That guy's a bad fucking writer. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, making too long a timeline. How hard it does. And the whole Star Wars trilogy sucks. This is all nation. One of the I I honestly kind of think this is kind of an interesting thought process. That I technically, even though I hate it, even though I hate what we have with the new Star Wars trilogy. I don't think we would have gotten some of the other really good things about Star Wars recently if we didn't have all this shit. Because I know I've hated, I've absolutely hated The Last Jedi, and uh, just the, the, the sequel trilogy in general, but, but, I don't think we would have maybe gotten The Mandalorian, or Rogue One, or um, some of the Star Wars, uh, uh, the, uh, fuck, what's it called? Fallen Order, was it? It was the Soulsborne-esque, uh, Star Wars game. Um, I don't think we would have gotten those if the sequel trilogy actually was good. Because I know for myself, I still liked the first movie, I did. Because I know they were trying to hit a lot of nostalgia, but it's like, that was kind of a thing you needed at the time with, uh, everything going on with, uh, the prequels not being the best for everybody. Um, let's see, okay, everyone, can we start discussing something relevant to the stream community is fun, so if I'm not serious, but, um, uh, Disney Trilogy is something I really dislike, but they should have made them at least consistent with themselves. Well, it's dope, though, man, there's probably the best Disney made Star Wars property. Yes, it is. Let's see, it's not even as well as Star Wars humans and spent a majority of the film basically saying the original trilogy. Yeah. Because I know, like, in, uh, The Last Jedi... Um, it was cool to have ships go through light speed into things, but oh my god, from a writing perspective, that opens up so many fucking can of worms. It is cool, but it is your first love to come around 30 years later. I can kind of see that. Uh, Doku, I can see that. Um, I know for myself at least. Like, I, I, I try and appreciate as much as I can about each individual Total War. I try and look at it from what it is, and like, what is good about it, and what do I really enjoy about it, what do I really hate. And for myself... Rome 1... is more immersive to me. Rome 1 is far more immersive for me than I would say... Um, 
Three Kingdoms or any other more recent Troy, for example. Um, and uh, I'm I'm glad that we got what we got with the remaster because this is exactly kind of what I wanted. Because um, I still love this base game, original game, because. I think it's very immersive. It gets me really into the thought process of like, hey, I'm leading Roman armies or barbarian hordes and crap like that. As you Ryan is a good writer, but didn't understand why people love Star Wars, not like he could show it even if he did. Kathleen Kennedy is politicized or space. That's my opinion. I don't know. I'd have to look at some of the other stuff that Ryan Johnson has done. I, I can kind of agree that um, if you look at The Last Jedi on its own, you could consider it a good movie, but it's not a good Star Wars movie. And I kind of agree on that point, that he just didn't properly understand like what people liked about Star Wars and glanced over things that I think make him a poor writer, but I don't know. Nothing else seemed to act like a child when people made any remarks about the movies. Calling it like a sexist. Yeah, that's, that's another reason why I just think it's a bad writer. Um, let's see, why do you think that Warhammer is a good Warhammer game, but a bad Total War game? Right now? Um... I think the the main way to describe it for me is <sighs> there's a there's a disconnect in this, for me in the current way that Warhammer Total War is set up. There's a huge disconnect, and I think my siege tower is broken. Uh, there's a huge disconnect between early game and late game Warhammer because of some design decisions that I don't I think are just not good designs in uh, War in Total War, where I can get there's so like I love the detail they have for all the armies in Warhammer Total War. They're fucking amazing. There's so much detail. It's amazing what they've been able to do with those factions and make them feel really unique. That's amazing. That's the Warhammer aspect of it that I really like. Also, my guys are getting slaughtered here. <laughs> um, but. I, I hate the fact that, like, early game Warhammer for me feels amazing. Late game Warhammer fucking sucks. Because it's just a bunch of cheese armies. That's all it is all the time. Your strategy doesn't matter in how you make your armies. I can, I can play... I can try and be very strategic in how I use my forces in Warhammer. But I lose that strategy aspect because it feels like in late game Warhammer, you just have to cheese. You have to cheese, just throw a bunch of monsters and things, and that's the only way to win. Don, like, the hardest sequels, because I've been trying, I play on very hard, very hard, because when I'm recording, I can't play on Legendary because of the save issues. Um, and that's kind of the thing, is like, oh, okay, so strategy doesn't matter as much, and that's where I think Warhammer Total War is a good Warhammer game, but it feels like a bad Total War game. Sure, you have all the armies going about and all this stuff, but... I personally, I would love, like, there's a reason why I love Rome and Medieval 2, because I think there's a huge strategic value in not having all your armies tied to one general. I like that you can send little armies here and here to do things to try and support you. That, like, adds a new layer to things. Also, the whole idea that I fucking hate supply lines. Supply lines defeat, it just reinforces cheesing. And it, it reinforces cheesing, and it makes it so that you have to, like, you're penalized for playing the way that you should be playing in Total War. Oh, I'm fighting this war, I need more men, I should recruit more armies to defend myself. But you can't. You are penalized for playing in a way that you should in a Total War game. And so I know that's, like, one thing. Also, sieges are horrendous in Total War Warhammer. <laughs> That's another point as to why uh, I think it is a uh, poor Total War game. Like, technically you could argue that Sieges aren't much better in this, or in Medieval, technically, because they're fairly simple. But, I, I think it's, it's the whole idea that the defender should have an advantage in a Siege, and that's what they get in battles like this. The uh, AI has the advantage while trying to defend, or whoever's defending has the AI advantage, and that's just that just doesn't feel like the case in uh, Total War Warhammer because it so often just devolves into a 
basically a land battle inside. Doesn't matter, your fortifications, they don't fucking do anything. And that's kind of why I think that I'd say Total War Warhammer is a bad Total well, Warhammer game, sorry, bad Total War game, but it is a good Warhammer game. Because I'm a huge fan of Warhammer. I am a huge fan of Warhammer. I love Warhammer 40k, I love uh, Warhammer Fantasy. Um, but there's just those small little things that just make it feel like it's not at the best Total War game. I think I wanted on a rant and everybody kind of got distracted. So you didn't realize that I actually like the prequels. I'm the queen that basically shaped my fall in my life style. Oh, son of a bitch. He is running away. Uh, I wasn't paying attention. Nope, you are not. Get out of there then, please! Sorry, I'm distracted by this. Is Kutcher uh, Anthony, or do we have another Roman file? I think we just have another one. Um, Siege and Chill were better than Total War Warhammer. Yes, I'll agree. I don't like Total War Attila. I don't. Uh, there, are, there are specific aspects about Attila that kind of feel off to me. But I agree. Sieges were better in Attila. Sieges were fun in Attila. Like, I could win against obscene amount of odds in Attila. Guys, I need you to rush down here. This is where I need you to stop being idiots with your pathing, because otherwise we're going to lose this shit. <laughs> See, Attila has the best battles in my uh, overall, in my opinion, and most developed campaign functions. Uh, my team mercenaries have succeeded now. I I I know I, I intend to go back through Attila properly and try and remind myself, hey, what do I like and what do I dislike about this goddamn game? Cause I think part of the reason why I dislike it so much is I was trying a really hard to a little while ago, um, with my channel to be like, okay. We're going to play the most recent Total War, no matter what it is, and I'm going to force myself to play it, because it's the most recent thing. Let me play it, to see if that'll help my channel grow. And I fucking hated it. I hated forcing myself to play Attila when nobody wanted to watch my content on it, and I think that might be part of the reason why I dislike Attila so much. But, I don't know, I need to go back to it. I actually might make a video at some point, like, why do I hate Attila? <laughs> I might do that. Oh, um, let's see, I haven't been able to play why do you buy some piece of pieces of shit? Wait, what? What's that Alex on about? Yes, I can get a close up here. Sorry, I was distracted there. No, me. Also, you guys need. This is where I don't like the bathing. Also, get my archers in here. I'll try and get them in here. I need to kill this unit here. Because with what I've got left, I know we can beat them back in the city center. I just need to kill this guy here. Uh, let's see. Let me get a close up. There we go. Nice little close up. Of the two units that are the exact same, it's just one is green and one is red. I'm, I'm gonna put my money on red, even though I wanna bet on blue. Let's see, one of my breaks decided to something. Oh shit. Yeah, I know that's one of the reasons why, uh, Dooku, is the fact that when um, I was first playing. Um, Warhammer 1, and uh, there was the uh, Grand Campaign map mod, um, having simple, small little cities, it, it's not even walled, it's like, oh, this is a minor settlement, and it has, it just has a little bit of some buildings all over the place, and I'm defending this little village, that felt so much better than, oh, you're fighting this minor city, but there's no city here, we'll have it off in the distance, and you're just fighting in an open field. It's like, why the fuck? Is this is just a field battle. This is not a siege. This should be a siege. And defending a settlement, even if it has no walls, that's still a siege. And it's a different type of battle than specifically just open field. Well, Attila, the historical story isn't exciting or interesting, to be honest. That's another reason why I think I don't like Attila as much. 
Let's see, I think... I believe... There's a lot of people here now. Is Phoenix here now? I believe so. Let's see, Mom, can we have Attila? We already we have Attila at home. Attila at home. Because, uh, Normie, the, re the thing that I like uh, about Attila, it's basically this. This is the Attila I want. <laughs> this is the Attila I want to play. Okay, you guys need to run here. Because you guys are being stupid. This is where I don't like your pathing. <laughs> I, get, it, I, I can kind of work around the pathing trouble at times. I, I can do I can, but... My, oh my god, it, sometimes it's really bad. I think that Medieval 3 needs to be maps like Troy or Three Kingdoms for defense battles, but if you want Medieval 2, honestly, I prefer the Medieval 2 province system over the current system. I do as well. I, I do as well. Um, I, I kind of... Oh, you guys are just rushing on in. Oh, they took the towers back. I need to finish this one unit, otherwise we're gonna lose this. Oh god, you guys, uh, over here. Okay, you guys, come on, I need to break this guy, he's way random. One thing that could be taken from Warhammer would be to make different nations bleed and compare to others. That is one thing that I think is the main selling point of Warhammer. Warhammer Total War, they did an amazing job making every faction feel unique. That's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Like. Skaven feels so different from the Dwarves, or um, the Empire, or even another evil ass faction, the, the fucking Chaos. I guess the main thing. Um, let's see, Rome 2 needs new DLC. I'm gonna hope it doesn't because I don't want my last break. <laughs> That's the only reason why I don't want more DLC. Um, as you have to go, have more of campaign. Already gave those, good to have you man. But I know for myself, I didn't mind the, um, I, I did like the Troy Sieges. Troy Sieges actually felt fairly decent for me. Um, they felt more interesting than, uh, what we had with Three Kingdoms and or with, um, Total War Warhammer. Oh no, actually no, Warhammer, uh, to, uh, sorry, Three Kingdoms actually had decent Sieges too. They were okay. You guys, uh, get up here and get them to stop shooting me. Ideally for me, I would love... I would absolutely love a Medieval 3. I don't think we're ever going to get a Medieval 3. I'll hope that we can get a Medieval 2 remastered at least. But a Medieval 3 ideally for me. Unique factions like in Total War Warrior. Make them feel unique. Make France feel very different to Spain. Make France feel very different to the UK. Have those things and that's really nice. But then also have it so like I, I like an expanded system on building up my faction. I like the more expanded city building in Rome and Medieval 2. I don't like the simple, oh, you have a limited number of slots, you can only build this, this, and this. Because um, it feels like you have to build the exact same thing every single fucking time, or it's wrong. And I like that in Medieval 2 and in Rome, I can build stuff in different orders, even though eventually I'll get to the build everything's built up. Um, I can build them up in different ways initially. There's a little bit more leeway in Rome 1. I think that's why I like Rome 1 a lot, is because in Rome 1, you have the different um, temples. You can have the different temples do different things, and uh, you can have settlements specifically designed to reinforce or uh, like equip your men more. You can do that, or you can have people focus specifically on trade, and I like that. Um, but you can't, I don't really feel like you get that as much with the current building system and province system that we have right now. See, Troy had the best sieges, but if Medieval 2 came out, it would, I would like the Diplomacy of Three K. The Diplomacy of Three Kingdoms is actually a pretty, it's a nice change. I, it does feel better. Oh. All good. Um, you know, the, the Diplomacy of Three Kingdoms is, was a, definitely a wonderful change over what we had previously. It's very hard to do, like, economic and demographics should matter, and it never did in last Star Wars games. Um, CA just focused on different things. Yeah, that's kind of my issue, is the fact that, like, Total War, the thing I love about Total War is you have the campaign map and the battle map. There are two halves. You have to make sure you feed both. And for myself, 
I want a very... I want to feel like I'm building up an empire on the campaign map. I want that stuff to matter. I want my population to matter. I want what I'm building to matter and influence my kingdom. And it doesn't feel like it does as much right now. Let's see. Uh, Troy had the best sieges. Of most recent Total War, I would agree that Troy has had some decent... Like, within the past five years. Within the past five years, the most recent Total Wars, so basically Three Kingdoms, Troy, Warhammer, those, it has the most, the, the best sieges of recent titles. Technically to include further back, because you got to remember, Damien, Attila's getting old. Um, Attila, I, I would say, out of kind of the... Like, if we kind of split Total War into sagas and uh, different ages, um, the Golden Age of Sieges, to me is Rome 1 and Medieval 2. You then have kind of the Silver Age, where you have like Empire, you have uh, Shogun 2, and you have Attila and Rome 2. Those would probably be like the Silver Age. Then you have the Bronze Age of the most recent ones. Let's see, I mean, really unique factions in historical game are unlikely to happen. That's true, that's true. That is most likely that it's gonna be difficult to have that uniqueness, but there are some specific things that I could see in a historical title that you can kind of focus on. Um, England, for example, is a great example. England, you could very much focus in on, oh, these guys have good longbowmen. Give advances and benefits to longbowmen. You can do simple stuff like that and try and make them feel more unique. Even if they have excuse me, similar rosters, you can give them things that they can emphasize in. Let's see, so you have the castle slash city system in Medieval 2. I love the castle and city system in Medieval 2. I love it. Um, especially in with how I've been playing recently. I can build up a city um, to specifically be all about economics and just focus on cities on doing that. But then castles, especially with how I've been playing recently, I can f target castles and try and conquer them specifically so that I actually have really, really good defensive positions. Also, what? What? No! You idiots! Go the other way! Gotta remember to not give them ex uh, large commands. Complex commands. They're idiots at times. Please run away from that house. Um, let's see. And I have to say, you said bike and bike literally 12 hours. Oof. Uh, what do I think about Napoleon? Napoleon? It improves on what I like about um, Empire. Um, in the fact that I know in Empire, I do really enjoy... That's English. Um, I do like an Empire being able to... Well, I know for myself, uh, Empire is a guilty pleasure for me. Also, you guys... I think we're going to lose this battle because my guys are being fucking idiots. <laughs> my archers killed the general! What the hell? is dead! His wow. Their doom approaches. Okay. Okay. I was expecting you guys to fucking fail that. But you know, I know for myself, um, there's some nice quality of life improvements on from uh, Empire to Napoleon, but I don't like the campaign as much. I actually don't like specifically directed campaigns in a Total War. Um, I like Total War being more of a sandbox. That's what I've always enjoyed more in Total War. Um, I don't need it to specifically have a goal that you have to complete. I like the generic, oh, okay, this is kind of a rough idea of, like, victory conditions for your camp factions. Like, oh, this is roughly kind of a thing that they might want to do. But I prefer building up my own faction in my own way. I don't want to repeat history. I like to... I, I, that's why I've always ignored historical battles. I ignore them. I, I've never played them. I, I have tried them occasionally, but I don't usually do anything with them. Because I prefer just to build up my own kingdom and like I, I saw uh, this is one of the guys uh, in my friends list that just had a screenshot. Oh, the new home for the Turks. He took the Turks all the way to fucking England. It's like that's what I like about Total War is those little things like that. Okay, I should probably mention that I meant that Troy had the best sieges from recent Total Wars. I just would have run out of space. Uh, Tell me you two are the best. Uh, guess what? I'm low. Uh, Heroic strategies. I play Total War from time to time, but it's just tactical battles. Empire Builder is poor, or Toronto, Rome, or other cause. Uh, Lots of them have a big impact in Warhammer. Medieval 2 seems to have odds and changes to the entire family game, but 
Weimar mod just feel like DLC. Yeah, that's what they feel like to me. Uh, the recruitment system in Medieval 2 is gold. They should have added it to Rome Remastered, and you should be able to tall bell on them. I would honestly kind of really love that. I pref I think the best recruitment system we've had has been Medieval. I don't like... This is another reason why I don't like... Um, there are aspects of Total War Warhammer that I don't like, and I think make it a poor um, Total War game. Because... Because you can just recruit any, all units at all times, and there's no, like, cap to them at all in Total War Warhammer, you can just spam cheese builds. Medieval 2, you could technically kind of do that late game. You take you some time to build them up. God, we're going to lose this. <laughs> ah, that's great. We're going to lose this. Um, but because there was the whole system of, oh, okay, so we have a limited pool of units that slowly replenish, you had to kind of pick and choose which units you're using, and you didn't have to... You couldn't always just use the most powerful units all at once. And I think it made it more tactical. It's like, oh, okay, so I can get these elite units here, but what's another unit I want to try and recruit right now to balance out my armies? And you kind of had to do that in... Uh, I mean, we're going to lose this battle, I think, because my guys are being idiots. But at least we get some close-ups here. Because <laughs> you guys... The general's bodyguard, even though I killed him, he's fucking overpowered. Let's see, where are you going to Let's see, uh, realize the best cab in uh, the cab does feel fucking amazing in um it does feel absolutely amazing in Warhammer. It definitely does. Okay, Legionnaires, I need you to get back here. Otherwise we're gonna lose. Uh SFO or mod or sticks you're using Total Hover Rules 2 3 and I know! I've used that mod. I like SFO. I really do. Um but I feel like it'd be better, like, because I, I know before I was using SFO that I did have one mod um, I was using that um, made it so it just implemented that tabletop uh, limitation. Um, systems like the Divide Imperius population mechanic are cool though, too. That in order to make yeah, that's one thing I'm struggling with right now in my uh, Athens campaign. My Athens campaign, I can't spam my best units. I can't. I have to specifically think, okay, these units take up, like, my second-class citizens, but I don't have many of them, so, okay, uh, I need another army. Let me use some of my barbarians and, like, my lower-class citizens to make a full, another stack. Like, it, it takes more strategy than simply spam, 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 because they're these unique limitations that are make sense. Um, have you ever played Darth Maul for Total Napoleon? Uh, I have not. I don't believe I uh, have played Darth Maul for Napoleon. I, I'm obviously playing Darth Maul for um, Empire right now. I think it's pretty cool that people are getting into my favorite game. Um, I play Barbarian Invasion since 2018. Barbarian Invasion is amazing. I, the, the, the Empire building's a little meh, but I know they made some nice quality of change, uh, quality of life changes from Rome 1 to Barbarian Invasion that are always fun. And I'm glad they took some of those and just threw them back into Rome 1 in the remaster. Let's see, therefore the play only in uh, Divine Imperia. AI isn't limited as far as I know. Oh, you... That's bullshit. <laughs> I hate limitations like that on only on the player. I hate that. Okay, can we win this? <laughs> I don't want to lose this battle. We're so close. Like, how many men are left? Uh, we've got 400 versus their 159. Their units are just really high quality. Uh, Rome uh, still hasn't conquered past Campania, and there's still five rolls. Well, thanks. Oof. Yeah, that's gotta be that why I'm struggling so much in my Athens campaigns, because they're not limited by that population bullshit. God damn it! <laughs> oh man. Let's see, well Darth Mod makes Napoleon very much a sandbox game to an extent. Hmm. I know the closest I've done with that, uh, like the only main mod I've played for Darth Napoleon is the um, Great War mod. That one I've played, that one's kind of fun, being able to, but it's really broken and unbalanced, it's all. Okay guys. I should speed this up. I'm gonna walk these guys up. Uh, has anyone been speared to death by peasants yet? Um, not by peasants, but the enemy general of this battle got killed by my archers in melee. That's something that happened. But no, no one's been speared to death by peasants yet. We've actually been doing fairly decently against Rome today, besides this battle. This battle's been horrendous. Uh, Rampant, what PC specs do you have? I saw the system requirements for Rome Remastered and that they were a bit high. Um, if you want, uh, I have, like, I have all my PC specs listed on my, um, 
on my about me page uh, for my channel. Um, and so that has my like I've, I've got my uh, RTX 2070. I've got like 64 gigs of RAM. Uh, I can't remember what processor I have. I know it was a um, AMD one, um, but I have that all listed there. Like I actually have a pretty decent system. Um, and for me, that's made it so that playing Rome Remastered is very smooth. Um, I don't know if the requirements are really as high as they are. But yeah, no, uh, the, I can, I can confirm the 70 gigabyte space is accurate. I don't know why it's so high, but that is accurate. I see the horse archers place in this mod are the screen and horse archers. Uh, what's still a nice system for the player to think about? Graphics. Sorry, I just got distracted by the fact that Phoenix, I think, just was aggressive towards laying your um, Okay, I think things should be okay. I think that... Yes, sorry. Um... You guys are almost here. Okay, Legionaries, I need you to still advance forward slowly. This is going to be difficult to take this city. We got 16 minutes. Can we win this in 16 minutes? Okay, so don't run, don't run, don't run. You're already tired enough. I don't need you guys to break. Are we going to have enough time to win this battle? Oh, this is close. Archer's Mark marking up. Two. This is just a really random thing, but kind of weird for me that the fact that, um, for some reason, I remember in normal roam, if I single right clicked, uh, it would walk. By my units instantly just start running for some reason. I don't know why. That's one thing that kind of feels a little weird. I think it's just because of the, it's expected that most people just want to run their units around. But my guys do need to walk right now over the years. Because, like, you guys slowly advance up. Archers start trying to move forward. Um, nope. Oh my god, don't break instantly, you fuckers. You don't want to lose this. I say, I hate that the current tax system you uh, can either exempt or take tax. I wish you could lower tax like you could in the 2 and then the province it feels more dynamic and adds a bit more to the game. I agree. I know in, uh, in Empire it was just a blanket reduction in tax. They still had it then. But I, I think it should be individual, per se. It's not going to be across the entire Empire uh, in some of these. Day. Roman arms sell themselves uh, such fuck defeats, you, Leo Flavius. But we are a resilient... Yeah? I think we're having another water issue. How oh, so? Okay. Uh, yeah. Give me one moment. I will be right back. The siege is broken!
Okay, now I'm back. I am always the one that's asked random house questions on fixing things up because I'm the engineer. <laughs> Even though it was simple things. Alrighty, so let's see. So, the single click run thing is from newer Total Wars. They must have implemented into the remastered. Let's see. Uh, they should add it in it so that if you play as Romano Britain, the Roman cities in England are controlled by the Saxons. Otherwise, it's pretty uh, ironic that the first thing you do is a faction. <laughs> Uh, that there tip was a reference to Emperor Nero. Ne no. I see. I hope they've made some sort of mistake with the specs for Roman Master. It's basically it's heavier than all other Total War games. Troy, Three Kingdoms, Warhammer 2 included. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, because like I actually am probably gonna try and test this out on my laptop and see how that feels because my laptop is a lot weaker than my desktop, and I'm not sure. Um, like, I, I know for sure the 70 gigabyte uh, space requirement is accurate, um, but I don't know what's going on. Excuse me. I don't know what's going on with um, the specs and whether or not they actually are that high. Because I know for myself at least, this runs perfectly. I have no stirring at all with the systems that I have, and it might almost be that like they describe those system, that, those spec requirements, but it's to run it like perfectly. I don't know. It, it might just be like they for some reason didn't actually specify their minimum properly. I don't know. Uh, an active fleet, yes, that's gonna be fine. Oh, I want to actually talk to you guys. I have some map information for you guys, please. There we go. Let's see, I highly doubt they'll need top-end PCs to run this game. It's just like run one with a view code of paint and some script changes. Yeah, exactly. It shouldn't require a GTX uh, 1070 gigabyte. Yeah, because I know for myself, with what I've got, it's running it perfectly, and it's like there's no issues. Like, I could probably actually go to the experimental unit size settings and uh, still be fine. Because I know for myself, that was the thing I was actually kind of concerned about when I initially... Well, this is always the thing I'm concerned about when I'm playing. Is, uh, is my game going to lag too much because I'm recording? And that's a concern that I always have, and so I usually lower the unit settings so I can compensate for that. I haven't, I actually am fine increasing my unit size with this. So, I feel like the uh, minimum is kind of a little off, technically. And I don't think it actually requires as much as it states there. I just don't know what it actually should be for the minimum. Uh, what specs does my laptop have? Uh, let's see. This is literally the one I'm using right now for looking at chat. So, DX Diag. Let's go take a look at that. Let's kind of look at that. I know it's. It, I know my laptop has um, a solid state drive. Um, if you want to check your drives, are usually signed. And then while that's loading up, uh, let's see. How. how eh. Actually, that's been, uh, by the way, how has your day been so far? Oh, it's been pretty good for the most part. Um, we're gonna have like a little birthday party thing for my birthday and her, my, uh, one of my roommates because their birthdays are nearby. And so we've got lots of pups over here right now. I was talking about all that. Um, otherwise, not much going on besides that specifically. Let's see. So my laptop is got 64 bit. Let's see. It's got, that's Intel i3. 2.2 gigahertz, 4 CPU, 4 gigabytes of RAM. Like, my uh, my laptop's a lot weaker. And so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and see how it will run on my laptop at some point. I'm kind of curious if it will work well on my laptop or not. Um, for now, let's see, this is Delrada. Let's get the market. And then you guys are already building something. At least I'm going to make some more money now. Oh, are we failed in that assault. God, they had so little crap and we failed that. <laughs> I know it's because I wasn't paying attention when I was using my cavalry. My cavalry shouldn't have died that easily if I was paying attention to them. Oh, they're advancing on me. Oh, no. Okay, well, let's see for now here. Uh, what level of stable do I need to get my Grawl Knights? I want to start getting that. I want to try to, at least. Let's see. Uh, the Steam page says about the... 1078. Yeah, because I honestly don't see why it technically needs so much. Ooh, Londinium finally grew. So let's go get that. 
Oh, you guys grew too. So multiple settlements grew on the same turn. I forgot how much of an issue Squalor is in Rome. I forgot how bad Squalor is. It's, I forgot. It's so fucking bad. Okay, but I need to start building my forces back up. So let me get some more Legionnaires. I'll keep recruiting that. I, I know for myself, I, I do hate the one unit a turn system. I, I kind of do wish they would have maybe taken um, Medieval 2's recruitment system and you kind of could have switched between the two. That would have been nice. Wait, who controls this? Oh, no, that's still Rome. I thought somebody else took this right now. It's a little bit more um, purple. Okay, those guys fucked off. Uh, Londinium is pissed. Can you stop being pissed, Londinium? Um, let's have you guys... Do I want to get... No, I don't need this. I'll get Celia here. I'll get more of the coastal levees just to kind of help out here. Eh, eh, eh. Nothing that you guys can get. We're just waiting on some more troops. Although, you guys are actually kind of okay now. I could probably try and head out. Let's see. Dude. You guys happy with just those three? Yes, you are. So, we can move right now, or do I want to wait a little bit? I almost wonder. Um, I can't get any siege equipment yet, can I? It's just his archers. I think it's my third level is what gives me that. Yes. Uh, which I could get here. Let's do that. Let's try and build that up. Squalor's a thing in Medieval 2, too. I know it is, but in Medieval 2, it's not as difficult to deal with. Rome 1, it is so much harder to control. Medieval 2, eh, it doesn't matter all that much, really. Uh, I can usually kind of forget about it. But in Rome 1, I forgot how bad it is to control Squalor. It is so bad, like, Londinium is fucking pissed. Ooh, Londinium is actually making me quite a bit of money. Ha! Oh. Uh, trade 19. Oh, yes. Yeah, making so much money there. Okay. Yeah, okay, we'll wait until we move out a little bit. Let's see. Just uh, 4,200 SPR soldiers lost 115. They have 12 left and lost 500. Jesus! Um, what's your favorite strategy to do a squalor in uh, Rome 1? Get the torches. <laughs> Honestly, what I kind of have been doing recently, because I've been trying to figure out this again while playing through on my Skippy Eye campaign, um, I don't enslave as often. I honestly exterminate a lot to kind of wipe it out, gives me an initial blank slate. But honestly, it's still, like, I remember before you had to have controlled purges. <laughs> That's like the best strategy for it. How bad is Squalor in this game? Um, well, right now, Squalor here is 25%. In Londinium, it's currently uh, affecting like 45% for Squalor. I guess the main reason why my areas are pissed off. It's the main reason all the time. Um, let's see, you guys, uh, give me the better practice range here. Yeah, while well, you guys are getting that, let me keep getting a little bit more. Let me get another Legionnaire. I at least want to get one more, at least I'll say. Let's see, one falcon killed, seven, 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 eight, ten. Jesus! Man's really working hard to try and no, uh, no acknowledgement of his qualities. Seriously, if one unit got that many kills, I would expect them to get ranked up. I would, that's what I expect. Okay, let's kind of advance again on to Colonia Agrippia, Agrippinia um, next turn. Because now I think you guys are good, so... Leave those three. Because you guys are happy here. And then we'll advance up onto them again, and hopefully not die this time. What kind of mercenaries can we get? Ooh, mercenary gold man. You guys are actually dual wielding. I'm kind of time to grab you guys. Let's grab you and you. Yeah, grab those two. Oh god, dear god, the Huns are here. Wait, are the Huns here? Uh... I didn't notice the Huns. I know the Huns are over here from when we checked, but I... Wait, did I not notice? Am I just blind? I don't see the Huns anywhere. I'm gonna hope they're not actually here. Let's see, you guys will grow... You just grew. Okay, so you guys... Ooh, get the better... Yeah, get the better uh, port. Because that'll give us... Ah, uh, only 54? That's actually not that much. Mm, nah, it usually helps a lot more. Okay. Well, 
You guys... Oh, you can push through him next time. Wait, what is this thing? Lily livered? Uh, I love when that... Can I see? I want to see what trait's giving you that. Aww. Influence negative four, what? Wow, he is really influ not yeah, that influential. Oh, there was a message. Oh, uh, I can check that then next time. Ooh, 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 ooh. How about this? How about this? You guys just gonna want to give me a ceasefire? I'm gonna ask instead of that. I'm gonna ask for a region. Um, I want. Can I look, click that? I do love that they added this in again, so I can kind of see it. So it was uh, this one. Very demanding. But you know what I'll offer? Trade rights. And then I'm going to make a single payment. Let's offer um, 5,000. Oh, it just doesn't. Very demanding. I want that city. You guys are technically still very much stronger than me. Oh, the Alemanni are dead. Oh, shit. And that's when they showed up. Yeah, let me look at that again, because I do like how they kind of keep track of all those. The hordes arrive. Oh, and it was the Vandals. The Vandals. Um, Astrogoths. Yeah, no, there's some, there's some guys over here. It's not the Huns specifically. <laughs> Thankfully, it's not the Huns. Okay, you, I'm going to have you get a Legionnaire. And then you guys, let's get maybe some more mercenaries. And let's lure you guys out of the city. Because thankfully, these guys... Um, well, actually, no. The one thing that I kind of hate with Rome in comparison to Medieval is they'll actually withdraw from this battle if they realize I'm trying to lure them out. That's something that they've honestly done before, and it kind of pisses me off. It's like, oh, you guys actually know what I'm doing, so you just run off the map. You know, if I can kill them all here, then we can easily take this city again. They stand alone! No friend has come to this place to die for them. Does this not say something about their honor? They're standing among nations? On this field stand one in four of our people's warriors. We are I do think for myself, great honor I like great the Medieval service. 2 this speeches more, more than Rome 1 speeches. No doubts that you will do. Medieval 2 is a little bit more they unique. Because with this one, they kind of just keep saying the same thing over and over again sometimes. It makes, it makes them the enemy, but take nothing for granted. I think the tactical draw is both future. It is, like, they should they do will. that. Unless completely I'm so thinking. used to, like, Try being able to lure an army out of the city and killing them troops. off and taking the city that way, that I'm so I used to, like, how dare you men. fight back? But it is not something that will happen again. Today, I take my revenge. Today, you taste the fruits of victory. Now then, look to your front. Mark your target when it comes! Because, like, I do like that this guy's acknowledging that he lost. I'm glad they do that. So let's see, so their reinforcements should just be right behind them. I'm actually going to move, uh, for this area, I'm going to have hide foliage on, honestly, the entire time. Just because there's a lot of trees here. So you guys, fire wheel on. There we go. And then you guys, um, what's this unit they've got here? Ah, uh, you guys are fine, I guess. Okay. I do like that I can move those guys just on my own, honestly. It's a nice little touch. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna have you kind of over here on the side. What did you do to Ireland, Ram? Uh, sent it back several hundred years and uh, broke off from the Romans. I do love that I can actually uh, move my guys about like this. Uh, but the main thing is, uh, Opie Lucky, currently we are taking a little break from. Uh, we were taking a little break from the Irish campaign just because I wanted to be able to kind of show off Rome Remastered here. What did you do to the House of Griffins? Well, the House of Griffins are now House of Dragons. Because <laughs> you're playing as the Romano British. Don't worry, Opie Lucky. We, we will go back to the Ireland campaign. I just wanted to kind of showcase this one for a little bit. And um, this is going to be a shorter little campaign that I don't for sure I'll let people select generals at a later date, but just not right now. 
I do love the alt moving forward. I love that feature. I'm so glad that I can now do that here. Allows me to actually keep these nice formations together. Ah, look at this. Actually, what does it look like with the trees on? Oh, look at that. Look at that feel. So you guys gonna advance on me? So you got heavy infantry spearmen, peasants, peasants, archers. They got one archer. Again. While we're fighting here, I'm gonna turn this on so that we can actually kind of see what we're doing. It's cool to fight in the trees, but it's also hard to tell what the fuck is going on. Okay, I think about there. Rush forward. All my cabs kind of move around now. I need you guys to go get rid of their uh, skirmishers. This is a spearman. Okay, nothing to really worry about there. I can easily break these guys. Oh, we must be free of the artillery. <laughs> well, the thing is, we've actually already at least liberated uh, the British Isles, at least. So you guys can go around here. Um, there we go. Now my archers are opening fire. Uh, it is funny watching horse archers kill hundreds. Oh, it's wonderful watching uh, horse archers destroy any army, honestly. It, the best version I've seen of that is within my Irish campaign, because of the fact that I love the fact that the guns are so overpowered. Imagine if we got a Medieval 2 remastered, and that was, like, those guys were re remastered. That would be beautiful. 4K mounted Irishmen with guns. <laughs> I want a Medieval 2 remastered now so badly after playing this. This is such a good remaster. Let's move you guys up a little bit more. Get the caps back off. All your family members are still Christians? If so, a purge might be in order. Just maybe, just maybe. Because I know I'm going to force them to be pagan. I'm, I'm going to do that. It's just, at the moment, I'm not getting the option to make them all pagan. Uh, I just hope we don't get a Medieval 2 Remaster in place of Medieval 3. True, true, true. I, like, I want a Medieval 3. The one, my main concern is there's been, it's been so long that the hype for Medieval 3 might be too high. And that's kind of a concern. And that a Medieval 3 might not be able to live up to expectations of what has been built up over these years. A Medieval 2 remaster would be, le like, the expectations would be lower and be more possible um, to actually meet as opposed to what we have built up over these years for Medieval 3. So, I would prefer a Medieval 3, but if I can, if we can get a Medieval, like, it's just the thing, is a Medieval 3 has to be done perfectly, otherwise it's going to be disappointing. Let's see, uh, this is an outrage. I shall leave it once and will not return until you pull us back to the 13th century. <laughs> Don't worry, OP Lucky, we will go back to the 13th century at some point. I just wanted to really showcase this off, because I'm really enjoying the remaster so far. Uh, Rampan, do you play any Paradox games? Yes. Yes, I do. Um, I'm not the best at them, but uh, I am a fan of Paradox. Um, I play, I, I own... I own uh, Crusader Kings 2 and 3, I own Poi, I own EU4, um, I own Stellaris, I like, I, I like their games. Um, like they, they scratch an itch every once in a while that I'm kind of feeling, it's like, oh, I really want this really grand strategy thing, but I just don't get the same, um, like, I liked fighting the battles in Total War, and that's why I kind of switched between the two. Let's see, the Broody and Skippy, I just have two full stacks of the capital and haven't moved since I've cleared war on them. Huh. Okay. Also, guys, why are you taking so long? Don't waver. Uh, people will be just as hyped for Medieval 3 as they were for Hyper for Medieval 2. Yes, and do we remember how bad, uh, how pe disappointed people were in how Medieval, uh, Rome 2 was? Like, Rome 2 is a good game now, but at launch? Oh my god. It was bad. Uh, Ram, have you played Emperor Rome? I have not. Um, I know there was a lot of concern with it initially that it wasn't... Like, there was a lot of mixed uh, reception on it, so I kind of just held off on getting it. I want to play it at some point. I just haven't yet. 
Um, let's see, this, rest, this remaster shows that Sega still knows how to make a game. This is true. Uh, and technically it's Feral. Feral's the one that did it. Because I, I give all the credit to them. They did an amazing job with this remaster. Honestly, one thing that I think is underappreciated, and it's like, I don't know if many people are going to really talk about it. The fucking autosaves in this are amazing. This is, it's a very simple little thing, but the autosaves in this remaster are fucking amazing. You get an autosave at the start of a turn, at the end of a turn, as soon as you start a battle. Like, I love the autosave feature. It's like, it's that small attention to detail that, like, it really shows how they kind of understand how this game should be. Let's see, uh, Sissy has four rebel stacks between the Sun and the Syracuse. Well, go kill them, Jason! You've had some pretty good battles, man. You should be able to easily kick their asses, I assume. But that's a lot of guys. Okay, are you guys going to advance on my infantry or not? So far, you haven't, so I'm just getting some free pot shots. Slowly trying to move you guys forward. Although, I don't know why my one guy's rotated. This is still a little glitch, but move forward, guys. Uh, you don't have an actual javelin, thing, so just go charge at them. Do that for me, please. You too. So my cab, I'm kind of waiting until you guys are in a position where I can kind of properly flank around you guys. Never wise, how are you? Uh, 66. At least they're fighting me. That's what I really want. I just want this city back. I want this guy to reclaim his honor since he got his ass kicked last time. Okay, let's just be the awesome. Advance on them! Let's cavalry back off. Um, let's see, but even has eight stacks, I have four women and four rebels, and that's the bottom half. Oof! Oof! You guys move up a little bit more. I need you guys to do this in front of me, I can flank you for once. Come on, guys. Oh, are you guys, you're actually trying to run off the map now. Oh! Yep, here they are. Here they're doing their tactical draw. Okay, keep rough on them. Don't let them up, 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 up. Oh my god, let up on them. I want this city, damn it. I don't want to have to siege it again. Okay, you guys are withdrawing. Yep, yeah, everybody's withdrawing. So, infantry. I'm just going to give you guys, because I can do this. AI commands! Run them down. And then Cav will try and have you run them down, too. I don't want them to get away. I still hate how bad you guys at times are with running people down. You are really bad about this. Right, let's speed this up, since we are just running them down. They're trying to get off the map. Oh, they're gonna fight me. They're gonna have the city still. Back. And get another charge. Suck the bitch! And now he feeds the <sighs> carrion birds. His men may soon be bird food too. The enemy show their true virtue. They are not soldiers, only frightened rabbits. Damn it. Oh, Rome will be amazed at such a victory. Ah, uh, I got the dude killed. I just killed like 13,000 Romans between Patavium and Rome in one turn. Jesus. Ram, if you appreciate Boca no Pico. No, Damien. No, because I'm not gonna do that. Peasant spearmen. They, it's always the fucking peasant spearmen. Always. Uh, did you guys notice the little reference they did in the trailer for Rome Remaster? Like, he forged the Empire 16 years ago, aka Rome 1 was released 16 years ago, and kicked off 3D Total War. I, I loved that. It was a really nice touch. Okay, you guys start sieging that. Although, actually. Uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, those are just generals. Oh, okay. Wait, you guys keep building your forces up. I'm gonna hope I get a man of the hour with that, dude. I don't want to send one of my other generals just to die. Uh, let's see, can you get my... When can I get my Grawl Knights? Oh, wait, can I not get them? Wait, what? Warlord, Smashing Auxilia. It's gotta be a unit I can recruit. How do I get them? Oh, what the hell? I thought I could recruit those guys. That's a shame. Welcome back, Drowsy. 
Hey, old Mitty. What did I miss? Uh, my general died. <laughs> he died to peasant spearmen. As always. Uh, let's see, get a better port there. You guys can't get anything right now. Uh, get the better farms. You, yeah, you're pretty good. Okay. Uh, oh, actually, I did get him out of the hour. Perfect! The new son adopted. Hero death. Yeah, no, hopefully you'll shoot, you'll prove better. Uh, inactive diplomat. Is there even much going on over here? I was trying to just see if I could maybe find stuff to people to talk to, but I think Rome still controls that. It might have something to do with your constant charge and your experience from front of camp. Hey, usually they can kind of win sometimes. I honestly think it's the whole fact that um, I'm so used to the game running a little bit less smoothly that um, in many with this because the times three is so quick, uh, I kind of lose track of them and they kind of die way faster than I expected. Also, I'm just gonna this. Just die. I'm taking this city. And there's my Thank you. Okay. Uh, this is a bitty stream, not gonna lie. It is! Uh, also, there's like five other people on um, in uh, on Twitch. Let's see, rip. Overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Oh god, it is. Let's see, I just found out that you can curse with the most of the names. Huh. Interesting. Let's see, my horse archers killed 5,000 of those Romans. Jesus! I need to try that mod you're playing, Jason. I knew. I know I do. I know I've listed it. In, I, I put it down. I wrote it down. The name of the mod, and I didn't, do intend to try it at some point. But my God, I want to try that. It seems like it's just on crack and steroids. It's like it just sounds interesting. Okay, but you guys at least we now control this area, so we can kind of repair some stuff, get this better port, because that should really start opening up some trade now that we've got this area. We'll continue moving our way up towards... I still want to take out the Saxons here. Still want to do that. Um, you guys should be fine when they attack me here. I don't expect many issues there. Hopefully you're not going to get killed. Hopefully. They're probably going to honestly just back off for the most part, I'm guessing. I'm going to technically try and recruit a Legionnaire. They might just... They might back off and it might actually go through. Or it's not going to. Nope, they're actually sieging me. They are actually sieging me there. Okay, well, um, you guys should be fine. I'll use that time over here um, to try. Oh, yay! I can get a ballista. Get the ballista. Okay, let's get that. How many turns is that gonna be? One turn. Okay, let's grab that and then we'll try and go to Campus Freezy. Let's see, the Sissians have six Severons, 16 missile attack, no upgrades, and 150 upkeep. Jesus! Yeah, that mod, I need to try it. Those guys are so overpowered. Um. Let's see. Uh, let's get some more guys here. You're currently upset because of Swallow. Of course. It's always Swallow. This area. Let's see. You guys. Um, better roads. And then you guys. Uh, Vandals actually picked up an area. Okay, don't know where that is, but I will hope they stay away from me. And it looks like you guys actually lost this, so this isn't controlled by you guys anymore. Oh, wait. Oh, no. That's... I think that's the Vandals new land. Okay, well, hopefully they leave me alone. Eventually, I'll have to go down into that area and try and conquer them, but I'm hoping they'll be a little while until it happens. Okay, and their arm up your scene. <clears throat> okay. Armor-piercing horse archers shouldn't be a fucking thing. Because <laughs> that's evil. That is very evil. Extremely evil. I like it. <laughs> as long as I get to use them, I like it. Let's see, how much money are we making right now? We are making currently... Oh, wow, 4,000. 4, oh, yes. Okay, let's get these... Let's get the better port. And then I'm going to have you keep getting me some more legionaries. Oh, I can get the crossbows now. I can get the... Uh, bus Buscalari? Buscalari, I think. Uh, let's see, Rampant, you're playing on max graphics, ultra unit size, and 1080p resolution? Yes. Uh, I can show you guys. Uh, graphics settings, advanced. So currently... Oh, technically it's all on high. Um, I set it to high instead of ultra for recording purposes, and then I had the unit scale on ultra. That's what I've got this all set up to. There we go. Yeah, you guys keep trying to build more up. dudes up. Ah, good. They did leave me alone here. Okay, because I'll try and have you retrain these guys, and I'll send that Legionnaire over that way. 
You guys are still pissy. I have so many random free upkeep units. Uh, that's also one way to try and deal with the squalor. Actually, I should just get a bunch of peasants if I'm going to keep doing that. Just get a bunch of peasants. And I can actually move them around, really, if I want to, to move the population around. I should do that. That's actually a very use, uh, useful strategy at times. Let's get another ship there. And then you guys... Again, yeah, just get the bunch of peasants. Let's see. Uh, they just killed 400 between the two units and lost no one. Oh my god, that's overpowered. Okay, you guys... You're having, like, no issues. This guy's a good governor. I like him. I like him a lot. Uh, nothing else to build, though, right? No. No. Uh, inactive plan. Oh, yeah. I was trying to... Oh, you're actually getting old. Can I be of Oh, no. Yeah, no, you're actually getting old. You look older than you did before. Without delay. Okay, so you're still... I'm still at war with you guys. Let me, let me, let me, again, try and talk to you guys. Hey, cease fire. Offer trade rights. Um, they're going to accept that. Accept this. Oh, and I can't make you a vassal. I would love to try and force you guys to be become my vassal. That'd be awesome. Hi, Astrogoths. You guys want trade? I will accept that trade. Currently, you guys are at war with the, uh, the Gaunts. Also, um, can I get map information from you guys? Just want to update that. Okay, okay. Let's see. Oh, you know, you guys do control this, then. You control both these areas. Okay. I'm going to have to kill you guys at some point. I'm not going to like that. That's going to be fun. Okay. You keep making your way over here. You guys are fairly happy for the most part. And then, let's see. I need to get... I'll get the better dockyard. And honestly, I am just going to keep getting more, just recruit more peasants randomly to kind of take an edge off of the population. Because that still does a thing. Oh, it's really low, though. I'm only taking like 50 off per population. I forgot they kind of capped it, so it's not the exact units. Okay, you guys... Oh, you can grow finally. Okay. Yeah, no, because I can try and just move these guys around. Um, I should probably try and maybe upgrade... I don't know. I don't know what I can do. I could just send these peasants off to die. I have a literal peasant crusade that I know Charles has been wanting for a while. Because I have so many people that I just like... Okay, here, just an army of peasants. You know what? Let's do that. Let's make an army of fucking peasants. <laughs> Why not? I can maybe support them with maybe some uh, archers, but not just an army of peasants. God. Uh, you guys are in flight again? Okay. Jesus. Ostrogoths takes and Quintia. Oh, you guys are taking a lot of stuff I want. I'm going to need to fight you guys at some point. But for now, at least, we'll just kind of focus on again on trying to take out the Saxons. Because once you guys uh, have these guys together, I'm going to have you keep moving forward to try and go to Camp Frissi. I just wanted to get the Ballista so you guys have a way to break down their equipment. Um, let's get more of... Uh, actually, I need more archers. Actually, get the, the crossbows. Actually, what's the difference in your stats? Archers have a lot more ammo. Subtax 7. Mm hmm. Uh, Ram, have you played the uh, Till Ancient Empires mod? If you have, have, how do you compare it to Rome 2 Divide Imperial? I have not actually played that one. I know I've heard of it, but I haven't played it myself. Um, I honestly probably should at some point. It's kind of me doing a disservice. Uh, me not having not tried it just yet. So I probably should at some point, but I just don't know when I'll try to. So right now, I'm going to have it so that... Um, Imperators! Ooh, okay, so I've got another general there. So maybe you guys will be good to leave here. So move you guys up. Settlement, uh, are you guys good here? Just barely, okay. Because I'll have you guys just move up here, try and claim that. What's that we do for building? You guys, let's see. Um, let's get the better temple. You guys are building more roads, just upgrading the stable. And then you guys are still building stuff. Uh, have you played any Saints Row's games? Yes, I actually really enjoyed Saint Row, uh, Saints Row. Um, I know I played Saints Row 2 a lot, because I would always run around with, like, uh, akimboed unlimited ammo pistols that I'd be able to unlock the group that, uh, they call it Commander Spy. Ooh, nice. Um, I've played, uh, yeah, I've played 3, I did play 4, and I think I played Gata, yeah, I did play Gata of Hell 2. I've always really enjoyed those, uh, kind of games, just being able to run around like a fucking crazy maniac. They're kind of fun just to, every once in a while to be like, yep, yeah, sure, let's do this. 
Let's see, do you feel me? Hey, you're up late. Okay. Oh, yes, I heard you. Yes, I know the fleet's there. I'm aware. Hi, Western Rome. Cease fire, we will give 28 dinars. I'm going to counter offer. Again. I want. Let's see, I want you to give me this region right here. Uh, that one was. Uh, this one. Give me this one, and I'll accept that. I do love how in, um, I have not played, uh, Saints Row 1. I have it in my Steam, but I haven't played it myself. How much money are we making? Right now, we are making 2,000. Okay, so we're actually still making a little bit of money. Imperator, engage the enemy. Okay. I am gonna siege. get, I think I still should get some siege equipment. Settlement, sir. Yeah, no, let's get at least some siege equipment. Let's get, um, let's get a sap. I always like the sap. It's always more fun than just uh, walking guys along. Okay, well you, I'm gonna have you recruit some more legionnaires and get these Bruce Gillies. I'm gonna have it so that, like once you guys have Brewer join up with him, that's when I'll have it so that we will leave here. Or well, assault. Or I can just do that. And then you, give me the port. Like the ports are by far the best way to improve my trade. By far, so I wanna keep spamming them. Ah, uh, ooh, you guys. Do I don't have a... No, I don't have one of these yet. Let's get the arena, then. Get the arena, that should help them out. Let's see, uh, it seems that I have to go, my good sir, because tomorrow is once again a school day, so good luck on the rest of your stream, and I'll see you next time. Already, Alex the Crazy Dutchman. No good, it was good to have you here, my man. Um, let's see, does... Does that mean under walls for units? Uh, the sap means you are able to dig a hole under and uh, destroy a wall section. That's at least what it means in um, row one. I do kind of hate that they keep saying these too often. Like, I, I know. It's nice to have a reminder that yes, I know I have like these guys all over, but there are some guys that are just sitting there because they're just sitting there. Like, I'm not going to worry too much about them. Okay, let's see. How are we doing on time? Right now, we are at about two hours and two minutes. I can go for about another 50 minutes. Ooh, the Berbers. Okay, so Alliance Trade Rights. We get 4,000 dinars and attack the Western Roman Empire. You know what? Yeah, I'll accept that. That's a good offer. You are allied to the Saxons, though. Oh, you broke your alliance with the Saxons, actually, for that. Ah, didn't force me to peace with them. I'm okay with this. Okay, how are you guys doing? Oh my god. Again, we'll just slowly build up peasant armies all over the place if you're pissy. Because like, let's grab you guys, start making you down towards Londinium. Uh, a little unhappy there. So, recruit more peasants! How about you guys? Can I take these peasants out? Yes, Captain. Okay, perfect. So let's start dropping all these guys off and moving them towards London. And, or Londinium. And as soon as I have a full stack of peasants, I'm just going to throw that at a random city. Because <laughs> why the hell not? Because otherwise you guys are just so unhappy. It's just squalor, 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 and more squalor. Oh, my man. Okay, you guys... Uh... Let's keep getting some more of these guys. Although maybe I should. No, I need to be careful about how much I'm spending. Okay, but let's assault this now that we've got this ways to sap. So I'll have the ballista and ways to sap this settlement. Let's see, anybody have a tips or things just before it crashes during battle when I'm on time to uh, time to Um, I know for myself it's kind of similar uh, with Empire. Uh, I only ever really go for times two time scale. If I go past it in some mods, I just, it will crash. Because that might just be a limitation on the engine. If you have too many guys, it will be a, a, a literal limitation on the engine where it can't go any further. 
Um, I know and draw I, uh, it was, it was, I think it's a polygon the are so low um, that no in the Warhammer, to support or, them. Or Warcraft, Total War Mod, um, that one, the Blood Elves, their poly count was so high that you had to be careful or literally just crash the game because it was too high. There can be no quarter, no and so um, it might if be that be, if your unit scales too high. Die. But it will not come to that. We shall fight like true warriors and prevail. Yeah, we're going. Let's see some of my sap points over here. And then, can I destroy these goddamn towers? I'm gonna you right about there. I'm gonna try and have you destroy the towers, possibly. Because I can try and have. Uh, who's the mercenaries for the sapping? I have two points? I thought I do. Oh, yeah, I do have two points. So I can send you guys right here and right here. Um. Rampant thanks, I'm on ultra units. Yeah, that could that could definitely be the issue if you're on ultra. I am saving the populace by burning down their homes. <laughs> well, of course, how else are you supposed to do it? Oh, I wish we had a sample by this side. Yeah, let's try and have you take out the towers. Actually, try and take the gates out first. The engineers are digging. Soon the walls will come crashing down with the favor of the gods. I do like these bullets far better than the ones that we have in uh, Medieval 2. Yeah, take that. The the night battles feel look amazing. These look great. Like look at this. There's so much atmosphere right now. That's great. Five. I feel like this game does look pretty nice. I love it. Some people are still annoyed. It's not a straight remaster. They're using the same unit models and stuff like that. But I don't know. I think it works perfectly well. Oh, we are starting to burn the city too. Oh, let them come. I just randomly lit this one barrel of hay on fire. Okay, this section's about to break. Hey, Blake Factor. Hey, man. Can't stay for long. How's the remaster going so far? Uh, besides me continuously getting armies, accident or generals, accidentally killed by peasant spearmen, um, I'm enjoying. I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it right now. Like this is exactly what I wanted from this. The engineering. Like, I, I, the only thing well. I could ask for more is I want a medieval two remaster now. <laughs> That's all I want. Like I'm loving this so far. I think it's great. Also, this is a random thing, but I love that they actually changed the, uh, they're more willing to change the color of the units so that they actually are more visible. Okay, these towers are still taking forever to break. Actually, I want you to, I'm gonna move you. I'm gonna move you here, and I'm gonna have you actually trying to shoot those guys. I'm not gonna be able to destroy the towers that easily. So I'll try and have you just kill these guys off. Oh, they put the fire out. Oh, that's cool. Ballistas, I want to see this effect. I want to start killing these guys. Oh, that's a huge miss. Oh, I'm not going to light the tree on fire. Okay. Oh, there we go. Tip that out. Or, no, no, not fully running. Okay, I'll have you guys keep destroying these. Let's start moving my guys up. Uh, mercenaries first. Mercenaries, I'm gonna have you guys just rush in and just try and get onto the walls to get the tower to stop firing. Because you guys can do that, that'd be amazing. Let's see, legionaries and my other dude. Let's move you guys up and... Uh, actually, one of you go over here this way. Okay, get the towers active. Uh, skirmishers... This tower is. Let's move you guys here. No, they'll shoot on both of us here. Okay, speed that up. And then let's actually have it so, um... For, oh, they actually do have guys standing at both holes. Ho -ho. You guys got to push through this unit. Oh, it's okay. Let's actually just break down. You should be able to break the gate more easily than you can break the towers. Let's see. How much damage do you do to the gate? Not the gate. The gate, not the towers. 
That is not the game. Okay, the ballistas are idiots. Okay, well, let's see how we're getting here. Hmm, I should have grabbed a ramp. <laughs> I shouldn't have relied just on the zaps. Okay, well, we can just slowly advance my guys forward, I guess. I don't like the towers, but uh, I'm just it's like you guys there. And you two go here. Because I only have these two locations to enter in from. I could charge my cab in here to try and help out, but... Oh man, are we gonna... Those units were getting melted by those towers. Yeah, the towers are broken as hell. The towers are so broken in this. So, uh, what are you guys doing? No, it's not where I'm telling you to go. Go over this way. I need to get into hiding and get onto the walls. Go, go, go. Okay, I'm gonna have one of you try and distract. One of you run right here. One of you try and run up onto the walls. I really want an honor for the tower as well. I really do. I didn't have the honor grow available until I uh, built up the archery thing, but we'll be able to do that next. Go up here. Yeah, because like these ballistas are not doing enough damage to destroy them. Come on, guys, it's more important for you to get onto the walls. This one unit is trying to fight here. Come on, get onto the walls. Come on, these towers need to stop shooting me. Also, if I can get my guys through the gate, would be great. This is where I hate the pathing. Ah, oh, my guys broke. Trying to move you guys over this way. I need somebody to take the gate. Open the gates for Any of you? Please go this way. You know what? Fuck it. Everybody just blob up. This is not going to work well, but we're going to do it. Because you guys um, are eager. Okay, that's not cool. Oh my god, these towers. Oh my god. I don't miss these towers. I'm so used to the Medieval 2 version of them that I really want those ones back because, oh my god, these towers are broken too. Come on, come on, come on, push through this one spot. Break the guys, come on. Have you gotten good yet? Oh, we control a decent uh, section of Normandy. The towers are uh, kind of murdering us because the pathing is chaotic. Trying to move you guys off the side, but you really don't want to because you have to get up to here, then move on. We're trying to move it now. Come on, guys, please kill this unit. I am doing so many dudes to do this right now. Okay, you guys. I'm gonna try and see if we can get close enough to help with this unit. Oh, my guys are dying because of this. MG42's in the towers. <laughs> Pretty much. Get onto the walls. Go up onto the walls. Get them to stop, please. Go, 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 come on. Come on. Please. Come on, onto the walls. Come on. Please. Oh my god, thank you. Our soldiers have done well this day. One of them the finally did it. Taken. Can another one do it? God, I'm losing so many of this. There, they finally broke. Holy shit. Now get on the walls and get this other one to stop fighting. This is where the pathing is horrendous. Oh, they stopped. They fucking stopped. You guys go help out up here. Actually, uh, you guys kind of run over here. Just walk over here. And then try and run up here. I see, I think Roman Towers are better, honestly. It makes me feel like Ungarian Towns are actually well defended by Train Militia. I know for myself, at least, I kind of prefer the Medieval 2 ones. Because at least the Medieval 2 ones, you have to have people nearby for them to be firing. Because, oh my god, I have lost how many men because of their towers? 
I've lost so many dudes. I've lost so many motherfucking dudes because of these towers. Hey, if you want to sign those towers, you have to clear them out. Yeah, the best strategy is to capture the towers and let them shoot the enemy to death. I was trying to do that, it's just they didn't want to let me. And these guys are all broken. Oh my god, guys. You're just shooting my dudes down here. How dare you? Uh, don't use fire arrows, please. I hate that they don't seem to be falling down. Oh, they do still fall down. Good! I, I like that. What are you doing? <laughs> Get inside the city, you idiots! How many men do they have left after this? They've got 400 guys still. Oh my god. These sieges are brutal. I like how they fall from the wall. They did that in the original one, too. Uh, happens in Medieval 1 as well. Not as often. Not, not Medieval 1. Medieval 2 as well. But it's not as often. Oh my god. Okay, so those are all dead. Now, let's just slowly walk my guys up here. Although, actually, I don't know if I have time to just slowly walk up. Because, ah, shit. I think we're going to lose this again. Just keep good news with the towers doing prior entire divisions together. And then <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, I've got 12 Well, I'm just gonna be aggressive because uh, otherwise we're gonna lose. We don't have much time. Look at how brutal these sieges can be in Rome One. A lot of the initial charge slows down, so we don't get killed. Pull back. As my guys are being slaughtered. Come on, guys! I need you over here. Keep running. Not a fan of being on the receiving end of tower cheese? No. <laughs> uh, we all know how I've used towers in my campaigns. Yeah, nope, I don't like being on the receiving end of cheese. I never do. I'm gonna lose this fucking I'm gonna run out of time. Again. I need an honor. Oh my god. I need an honor. Run away. This is no way for a Roman to behave. Shame will be his forever. Your general runs away. Nope, Your gallant dead. general has fallen and caused his troops much heartache. Much better to have lived. I forgot how powerful the power is going to be. See, just should be brutal affairs attacking from a slightly defended town should be hunting. And that's why I, you know, I that's why I like medieval two and Rome one sieges more than what we've got currently. Because, my god, I've lost two sieges today because of shit like this, where the towers just destroy me. I don't know why the battle hasn't ended. Oh, you guys are glitched. Ah. Yes. You guys... Oh, they're just floating t torches. Huh. Okay, then. Well, we're gonna have to rebuild our forces and come back here again. This time we're coming back with onagers. And I'm torching this city. <laughs> I'm gonna literally level it. Because, oh my god, these towers can do so much damage. Plus, so many guys trying to attack, like, these two settlements. Even though they have, like, no dudes inside. Let's wait for the battle to end. I could technically just leave. I see, did you have a 3 to 1 advantage in the attack? Because if you didn't, it's a waste of time. Uh, I did, I'm pretty sure. Um. Uh, almost 3 to 1. We had 2,000 guys, they had 800. So, almost 3 to 1. You have to maximize your numbers, uh, create multiple siege towers, or five of them, and overwhelm the towers the way you send troops into the streets. Yeah, I know for myself, I think I like getting quick amounts of siege equipment a little too much, where I like to just take one turn to build up my siege equipment. And uh, instead of trying to take the full time to get, like, I know in Medieval 2, I always get two rams, two ladders, two siege towers. Um, but it takes so much longer to get all that stuff in Rome. Now, we'll properly prepare for the next time. We'll, we'll be good. 
at least it's been a decent challenge for them to kind of hold. Oh, look at this! Look at this! It's night. This is this is a, uh, a Easter egg that uh, I was told that uh, is supposed to happen if you fight a night battle, and then um, you uh, go back to the campaign map. I love this little feature. I love it. I lost so many fucking jobs. <laughs> Oh, uh, this is not a good show of my uh, skills as a player. <laughs> but no, we'll make sure we properly come back with everything. Almost it isn't that this attack was doomed to fail from the very start. I don't know. If it's 2 to 1, it can be possible to still win. You don't need 3 to 1. I don't think specifically. But uh, I'm going to make sure we're going to come back with some onagers this time. We're going to come back with two onagers. I'm going to come back with uh, more British legionaries. And we're gonna burn that city. Get you. I need you to get me some more legionaries from here that I'll send over that way. Honestly, I might also just send all these peasants along with us. <laughs> Maybe. So I've got all these random peasants that are coming over this way. Doot, doot, doot. Uh, so you can get something. Ah, uh, get the better board. Oh, we get the better board. And I do have a new general here. So we're gonna send you to the front lines, dude. Set sail! Okay, you make your way over here. I'll bring you to the front lines for this next army. Imagine if the Allies sent a quarter of the D-Day invasion at a time. Yeah, true. But also, that was D-Day. that Not just a uh, specific just little city. 2 to 1 odds is enough that it should be fine. Ah, uh, the rule is 3 to 1. You, Mr. 2 to 1 works, just got routed. Mm-hmm. And I've won other battles, Charles, where I had two to one, so kindly fuck off. I will come back with more men. I am also limited by what I can recruit. I can only have so many men. I don't have enough to have a full stack army right now, honestly. So you guys just keep building up. We'll make sure we're going to overwhelm them this time. If anything, I'll just bring a bunch of peasants before they have to. Uh, you guys, let's see, get the, uh, better temple, Tara, you guys, ooh, you guys need some, I'll just get the better, blacksmith. Uh, does Romano British start with a settlement or as a horde? It starts as a horde, technically. Um, it just starts with a randomized stack of units that you get control over, and then they will just be like, oh, okay. They kind of randomize the world a little bit on how things are going um, before you, if you're an emergent faction. They kind of just force the uh, condition on where you're supposed to spawn. Uh, Astrogoths want alliance? Sure, I'll accept that. Let's see, new armor 5, Flaxman, 5 Elysian Blank, uh, Brigands, 5 Pikemen, 4 Estrian Horse Archers, and a General. Nice. That should do a nice number on the enemy. Okay, now let's see. I'm gonna bring all the peasants with us, honestly. Why the hell not? You guys are happy enough. There we go. You guys keep going over here. Yeah, if I need more men, I'll make sure we just at least have a bunch of peasants, because why not? How about you guys? Are you happy? Uh, a little unhappy. We'll get more peasants here. 3 to 1 is the rule. Flukes don't make a reliable plan. 3 to 1 is dependable. Okay. Well, maybe I like risk, Charles. Maybe I like risk. Risk is more fun. Okay, I'll have you... Uh, yeah, no, keep getting more presents there. I'll have you guys get those Legionnaires, and then give me some more of the crossbow guys. And then... Uh, oh, these are more presents. I'll make sure they go along. Too. Just all the presents. Uh, nothing to build, nothing to build, nothing to build. You guys can. Um, let's have you guys grab... Do I have the... Yes, I do. But it's not going to give more. Oh, no, it does give a little bit more. Get the better arena, just so you guys are a little bit happier. I just don't have anything for this diplomat to do, so I'm just going to ignore him for now. Oh, Astrogoths were allied to the Western Romans? Hmm. Uh, Riss just got you pwned in Frisia. Yeah, and that's part of the fun. Part of the fun of this campaign is the failure. It, it's no fun watching a campaign win and succeed at every turn. Also, I do occasionally make uh, take more risks while I'm streaming because I'm just trying to entertain you guys. 
That's a full stack. Uh, I should have waited a little bit. Imperator. Yeah, no, because this is a full stack. We've got a decent amount of legionnaires. Got some. I don't know any cav. I will worry about those guys later in a second. Let me DM you the wiki page on force concentration. Sure. Ah, uh, you guys stay in one DM. Keep them a little happier. Oh, and I actually have a spy. Your Honor. Okay, now we can actually have you go walk around and explore for us. Aye, aye, Captain. Ready to sail. Your Honor. Okay, yes, let's have it so. Oh, let's kind of go see what's going on over here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, there's Lombardi. Secrecy is a show. Yeah, you guys keep going that way. And you guys are at war again. And then I should be able to build another thing. I know somebody just finished something. Ah, uh, you guys did. Okay. Let's grab you guys. Oh, get the better port. Yeah, 124. Orders! So many pirates, as usual, they didn't change that. Nope. So many pirates. The rebels are extremely... You guys absolutely hate me. Um, the rebels are extremely aggressive, as always. Okay, there we go. So now, let's move you guys up to here. Oh, I forgot to move the peasants. Because you've got... Because this guy, I'm going to have you join up, and then there's going to be two more at least. So, you two. I'll send you guys back over here. And then, so building wise, um, let's get the. Get the sewers. Build that up. Uh, 10 years, got 18 and settlements, need 2,825, and a large specific amount, and won all 50 battles. Nice. You always make the case that the challenge is fun, but if you want a level playing field, you need to match the thing for speed one to negate the advantage. Okay, I can agree to that. I can agree to that. Because right now, at least we're trying to now, because we've lost, we're going to come back with a more proper force. Because we now have to show them up and show that, hey, we are the proper victors here. Because uh, I know if I take too long to properly set up every battle, um, it's not as entertaining as it is if I'm Leroy Jenkins and shit. Technically, the argument can be made that it's only interesting with the Leroy Jenkins name if I actually win. Which, I've been doing that decently enough, at least. We are, uh, we've expanded quite a bit. We now have all of the British Isles. We've got a good section of Normandy. We're kind of moving up towards the Saxons, still trying to kill them off. You guys, let's get you sieging this. And we're gonna make sure we're gonna get a little bit of everything this time. And then you guys go in here. There we go, better. Let's see, the only one that has destroyed factions in my campaign, and it's very hard. Nice. Who doesn't love a heroic struggle, but we can't fight every battle like we're Hannibal? This is true, and that's why now we're coming back with a full stack. It's kind of filled with peasants um, to kind of fill in everything. So we're going to wait until we've got these crossbows in here, and then we'll assault. And I'm going to make sure we burn it to the ground this time. So let's see, we've got about another 30 minutes roughly before I'm going to have to get going, and I'll have to be done for now. But at least right now, things are going well for us. The Saxons are getting their... Oh, no, sorry, the Saxons. The Franks are getting their asses kicked. Absolutely kicked. I'm still surprised the Saxons are still alive, honestly. Yes, like, what's going on up here? Oh, wait, what? The Saxons don't have anybody in their city. Fleet ready. Huh. Okay. Uh, you guys repair that stuff, please. They're a little pissy here. So do that, and then let's get the aqueduct for a little bit more public order. And then I'm going to have you... Um... Yeah, keep getting more of the peasants, and just try and help out with the garrison that way. Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. You guys can't grow yet. Actually, I should bring more of these peasants up there. Like, if you guys can... Okay. You guys go up here. I'll have you guys deposit that population over there to kind of help it grow a little bit. But then you guys just need at least one more turn. And then we'll solve this. This time, they shouldn't be able to push us back. Hopefully. Get a better temple. And then 
Again, I know about my fleets. Let's see, you guys are now at war. Okay, what is the world looking like now, I wonder? I'm curious. How has the world developed since we last looked at it? So, oh wow, the Huns are doing really well over here. The Huns now control Greece. The Western Roman Empire has actually secured Rome again. They've got a good secure foothold on Iberia. A lot of stuff going on over here. The Fr Oh, wow, okay, so the Franks decided to expand over this way. Oh, nope, never mind. That's the uh, Roxolani. As the untrained, poorly equipped, and easily broken peasants constituting a significant portion of your army, I can foresee no problems stemming from this. Of course not. No, the, the peasants are going to be the backbone of that assault. The absolute backbone. That, just just you watch, Charles. They're going to win us that battle. Uh, all they've got in here is some archers and then some auxilia and infantry. I do have quite a few, at least, um, British legionnaires. I have those, but half my army is peasants. Literally. Uh, don't forget that routing allies affects your men's morale. Oh, I know. I know. I know it does. I am well aware. Let's see. You guys here... Um, get the public baths. And then I'm going to start just recruiting more uh, legionnaires for just defense of this city, actually. Okay. And then I think... You can get a better... Better roads... You guys can grow again. Wow, that's fast. Going up here. Let's see, you guys have nothing to build up here. Nope. And you guys don't either. And now I'm with Gauls. Nice, Jason. Is that uh, good for you or bad for you, I wonder? Okay, well, let's assault it. So we've at least got a uh, two rams, two ladders, a siege tower, and a... Oh, I forgot to build more siege equipment. Um, and we've got at least two onagers. And this time we now outnumber them five to one. Yes, we have peasants. Let's see, I so badly want to see a mass of routing citizens and civilians getting shot in the back and like by camp. Well, they've only got one cab unit. It can't be that bad. It can't be that bad, right? We'll have to see how much damage the onagers can do. We better win this time, goddammit. Uh because I would have only been able to have, like, half my army, so about 10. There's about 500 gold worth of units as peasants. Oh, the walls are still damaged. Oh, look at that. Especially they didn't even fix them. Before breakfast. But think on this. They feel at least as see, to be fair, OP Towers does add some incredible use to It really does. Like, usually I ignore siege equipment. Usually I do. Help. But Why this do is stand? very useful for they us to be able to try and take them all out. We should brush them aside easily and claim victory. They will Send try the, to keep us at bay battalion. and take the coward's we'll say, way of bombarding this will us with missiles. We Boom, must Lord, grasp man. them by the sword belt in this battle. I fought these people before, and now I thirst for revenge. Today we shall slake our thirst for blood. Today that's the, that's the whole plan, day. Charles. That's like my battle jockey for all my campaigns. The hair has been gutted, and the liver was as clear as day. Portents such as this can only be considered good. Now, take up the sword, string your bow, kind of like look that. to We're your arms so we don't and have the armor. Before. Now comes the hour when we test Roman courage! Okay, so. We can actually get you guys up onto this section. Um, what else am I going to want to send my letters? Oh, letters over here, and then... At least the uh, peasants are on the ram, so I'll have you guys kind of over here. Onagers... You guys kind of just chill right here and here. And then peasants just kind of chill here. Legionnaires. Oh, I have another ladder. I forgot about that. Um, yeah, I'll have you guys over here. There we go. And then I'll have you guys kind of all supporting over here. So, start battle. Siege tower, go over here. Ladders, uh, you can go right there and right there. And the onagers, I'm gonna have you guys try and destroy the cave and stuff. Although I can actually just destroy this wall. I could try and do that. Please don't destroy this. Also, I'll uh, make sure to bring you guys over here. And while they're distracted, actually, 
Well, they're distracted. Has its charge. There we go. That's much better. That was way faster. I uh, just got attacked by Julia Fleet, even though I killed him two turns ago. And I think two kill bots have a present kill limit, knowing their weakness. I sent waivers away with my own men until they reach the limit and shut down. <laughs> oh god, if I become Zap Brand again. Can you guys hit this tower? There we go. I'll have these, I'll have all my peasants try and soak up all the damage and take the towers. Go take these towers, they're the only ones that I actually really worry too much about right now. Praise the gods! The siege towers are at the Come walls! How much damage does this do for oh, okay. Not bad. Uh why are you going Oh, that's the same section. Our soldiers are hey. at the gates! Now they must Okay, well you do through. that. I'm just gonna have you drop your ladders. You don't need yours. You guys go over here. Uh, guys, go watch the balls, please. Wave after wave for my own men. Can't wait to see the medal you get for this ramp. It'll be a glorious golden one. I say, if anything, I've only lost 3% uh, of my forces. They've lost none. Archers here. Okay, my guys are just about out of this. You guys are gonna go out the of there. The ladders are almost here. You guys still haven't destroyed this yet? Okay, well, you're almost there. That is always one of the archers. Guys, onto the walls, please. Let's see. What do we got in here? We've got their cav and their spearmen. So they've got their good units inside. Oh, actually, those are. Legionary, Ooh, that's a nice command for a general that young. Okay, you guys are doing nothing? Okay. Well, let's have you drop your siege equipment. And you know what, peasants? I'm gonna have you help out with the archers, since you're not doing anything else of value. Okay, that's almost destroyed. This one is now destroyed. Okay, you guys focus on that. Our ladders are in place, and our men are now attacking! Against courage, what See, this is walls. working very well, Charles. Okay, you guys might make your way over there to check that tower. Great gods! Our soldiers have done well this day. The walls are taken. Waves and waves of peasants. They will end the enemy. Imagine if I got all these peasants to have, like, insane uh, improvements on their weapons and armor. Like, there we go. We're just yeeting people off the walls, too. So you dared to question the peasants, Charles, and look at them. They're winning us this battle right now. Alright, I gotta go. See you later, Zap. Alrighty. Alrighty, Charles. I'll see you later, man. It's good to have you stop by, at least. This just reminds me of, I know I watched, uh, it was a Legends video a while ago of using peasants to win the game. I think he played his game. But that's just all he used. And now this is how I'm going to win, is just a massive amounts of peasants. Okay, let's start marching everybody forward. Also, you guys here. All of that, and yet one of you is still routing. Oh, he came back! He came back, don't worry. It was a, it was a fan. It was a fan. He knew what he was doing. He knew exactly what he was doing. He was just fainting a route to get the enemy to chase after him. Oh, also, uh, you guys are not supposed to be right. Just kind of casually walk off. I don't want you guys to tire yourselves out. I'm gonna see if I can maybe hit them with some siege equipment inside the settlement. That'd be great if they would. Oh, excuse me. What are you being shot at by? Oh, you guys are being shot at by that tower. Okay, that's what's going on. Okay, then. Okay, because you guys try and... Oh, don't run. 
try and move you. Oh, you guys are not wanting to do anything. You guys do not want to move here. Okay, just casually walk this way then. Are you guys, oh, you guys are also being shot at by those fucking towers. Oh my god, guys. Uh, peasants, can you guys get them up there? Rudy and I haven't even left Italy and they have some uh, pirates. Huh. I do find it interesting that in my um, Scipio campaign right now, the Broody Eye are complete idiots for some reason. They have, like, never expanded into Greece at all. Like, in my Scipio campaign, Broody Eye right now are fucking beasts. Absolute beasts. Okay, stop right there. So I'm gonna have you guys kind of split up in half. So kind of just sit there casually. One of you guys go over here, actually. Oh, no, you did go the right way. Okay, at least some of you did. Okay, you guys gather together. We need to have you all together before we advance forward. Also, where are my peasants? Okay, keep walking this way. And you guys make sure to have skirmish mode on. Um, you guys are close enough. Good. Okay, so start advancing up. Skirmishers too. Back them up. I think I've been using Romans as our uh, target practice for the past two hours. Oh, Jesus. If you're going to use anybody as target practice, they're a good uh, testing ground. Oh, guys, careful there. Careful. Ah, that's not what I wanted you to do. guys make your way over here too. Uh, I hate your targeting sometimes. Sometimes you feel like the need to rush forward like that. Peasants get in here too. We need all the peasants. this time at least. Uh, I need at least one of you to distract these guys. We need to kill the cow, but I need some of you to distract these guys. Also, can you hit them? No, you can't hit them. Yeah, you guys open up on them. There we go. Cast finally break. Enemy general with fear. Now he flees the field like a coward. Well, not for long, but he is he's trying to flee. Yeah, focus his cab because he needs to die. You guys should be able to hold here for a little bit. There we go. Now he's dead. And now his men fear us. It is time to press the attack. Okay, you guys come over here. These guys. Uh they're still alive. Oh no, they still got some guys. Okay, you keep fighting them. I'll have uh, these two units help out uh, against this guy. We'll finally get our revenge here. Also, note to self, never go to times three speed in this game. I keep telling myself that, but I keep doing it. Anyways. Oh, wow. Two. Oh, one. Okay, there we go. Okay, you guys move forward. Run forward. Just walk forward. I don't want to have to actually use the peasants to win this battle. <laughs> if we do, that's going to be so sad. Oh no, the peasants are literally here already. Okay, just send in the peasants. It's now just this one unit that's left. Okay, so my peasants are breaking. My infantry is breaking. Doesn't matter, we have enough men. I'll keep throwing them at them. Slow it down, skirmishers. What are you doing? Oh, you idiots. You idiots. Oh my god, my hands are so bad at times. Yeah, storming doesn't work as well as I would like it to. Form up, just, just form up. Send the peasants in, keep sending the peasants in. They can keep just going after them. But legionaries, you need to actually get your act together. Anybody else gonna come back? Not oh, that one other guy broke. 
even though I was telling him to try and run away. Peasants are still charging. Come on, I need you guys to come back here. Oh no, they're all dead. God damn it. Uh, okay. Come on, crossbows. I need you. Peasants just distract. Please do that. Peasants are like free XP for these. Uh, using peasants to take a city. This is a viable tactic in the master now. Uh, no, this is me just fucking about, honestly. Where are you guys? Like, where are the crossbows? Now, I was just fucking about because uh, previous earlier in the stream, um, one of my viewers was like, "Oh, you have to have three to one odds," and like, I don't have enough money to feel a full, uh, full army of my best units. Um, and so I just filled the rest of it with peasants, so we outnumbered this army 7 to 1. Okay, now, general. Yeah, no, I was just kind of fucking about just spamming peasants. I am kind of tempted to see what it would be like if I had a, a bunch of peasants that were full veterancy and a bunch of experience and they'd be able to win. Standing in the sea of so <laughs> uh, it's beautiful. Okay, you guys need to get into your position. Uh, General, kind of run up uh, to this side, so you guys can just flank them. Open fire. You can shoot them from here. We should be fine now. Oh, my guy's gonna break instantly too. Yeah. Do you have times three? Get out of there, General. Just stay away from them. Just stay away from them for long enough and they'll die. Yeah, line up here. My peasants are back. Yeah, I got a peasant. Uh, single peasant, guard these guys as they do all of the damage to win this battle. Oh, you guys are a little far away. Oh, no, here they come. These guys are at least exhausted. Come on, go over here. Go, go, go. There you go. You guys fight here, and then turn your backs to us. Perfect. That's what I want to see. Are you... There you go. I just thought you guys were out of ammo for a second. Paris would be nervous at the catch of the rain. It's not that bad. No, it's 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 not that bad. We've just lost two thirds of our army <laughs> because I decided to send an army of peasants for some fucking reason. Ah, uh, it's beautiful. Come on, guys. Keep firing. I don't care if you hit my own men at this point. We've lost so many guys, it doesn't matter. Just binge them all. There we go. You could not have beaten more doubt, and yet the gods finally smiled on your efforts. Casualties sustained. I didn't click I, I took so much to casualties. Jesus. We're never using an army of peasants ever again. It's alright, they were just peasants. They don't matter in the grand scheme of things. True, true. We can endlessly recruit more. Honestly, I'm just recruiting a bunch of peasants because we have so much excess population and I'm trying to like manage squalor a little bit. So maybe I should just have it so peasants just reinforce as like an additional random army. Come on. There we go. Yeah, let's repair that and get the port. And can you retrain these guys? Yes, you can. Oh. Uh, retrain the useful units first. <laughs> retrain them. And then I will have it so that we'll... Uh, I'm merging these peasants. You guys... I don't want to merge all of you. I just want to merge just the peasants. Because I can just kind of at least disband all these guys and have it so that they are going to be kind of looking over this area and can help grow it when we need to. But there we 
go. And then is there anything else I want to build? Uh, do give me more Legionnaires, though. Nothing, nothing. Ah, uh, I can retrain these guys. I do have better armors now, uh, armor there. I uh, don't think it's there, though. Okay. And let's see, how are we doing on time? Uh, we got a little bit of time. Let's see, if you have to deal with uh, excess population, you can use peasants for population transfers to undeveloped cities. Yep, that's actually exactly what I'm doing right now, because um, there is this settlement right here that is uh, pretty close to growing, and I'm trying to bring these peasants over to help with the excess population. So I'm actually doing that right now, honestly. I'm actually doing that a little bit more here. Also, I don't know how the Saxons are still alive. They just got that one city that has nobody in it. Uh, apart from that, uh, they're completely useless, I believe. They said Squalor was capped now. It does feel like it is. Like, it doesn't feel like it's running rampant too badly. But even still, with uh, how much Squalor... Like, it seems to cap out at 50%. I'm pretty sure that's what it caps out in most of my cities. Nope, 60 here. Uh, might be 60 is a cap, because I, I haven't seen anything higher than 60 for Squalor. Yeah, 45. You guys are actually really pissy here just because of the tax penalty. I can lower the taxes and you guys are going to be pretty happy here. Um, let's going to move you. I'm going to drop you off up here to be my governor for this region. There we go. Yeah, because you guys are at least one more turn away, and then hopefully that will help you guys grow this city, because it's pretty close. Um, let's get more legionnaires. I just need more... I, I, I want to properly have a good infantry uh, to watch over my areas. Oh, now the Saxons are actually recruiting the units. Okay, well, we'll advance on them soon, although um, I'm just going to be doing a couple more turns. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do another battle, not right now. I'm getting pretty close to kind of the end of what I can show for today. I'm going to bring you guys back down this way to retrain. I don't need this diplomat. Can I get rid of you? I don't think I can disband my diplomats. No, I just have to wait for you to die of old age because I have no need for my diplomat right now. Hi, Burgundy. Alliance, trade rights, map information? Sure. I actually have a lot of people liking me, and I kind of love it. Oh, Lombardi, please don't attack me. I hope you guys don't. Because I'm in a good position, but I don't know if I'm in a position where I want to fight you guys. Let me actually disband these peasants. Oh, you have to disband you each individually. So I don't remember what command it is to mass disband. There. Oh, let's see. Anyway, I gotta get ready for work. Enjoy the rest of the stream ramp. Alrighty. I'm not gonna be on too much longer. I can only uh, stream at most three hours, and so I'm just gonna be doing a couple more turn ins, getting things in position, uh, and then we're gonna be done for today because we made quite a bit of progress, I'd say, here, and I want to. I'm gonna be doing more stuff next week, but I just wanna get as much done as we can for today. So we'll just keep building ourselves up a little bit, spend some time developing the lands we've now taken, as we've conquered quite a bit today, honestly. We've been able to push up all the way into... Okay, I think I should get rid of all of you guys. I'm assuming... Control D? Nope, that's not how you mass disband. Damn it. What is it? Oh, just delete. Dude. Okay, the game crashed. Yeah, Control D didn't do anything. It uh, just closed the window. Okay, so the game crashed. <laughs> I'll send that crash report over on over to those guys. I do gotta love that my build is a little unstable still. Okay, let me get that back up and we'll just continue doing a little bit more stuff. Oh, I'm not just really now. Okay, I guess I still have to just uh, manually disband my dudes. But also, this is where I love their... Uh, they have so many quick saves. I love it. There are so many auto saves. Sorry. They have a lot of auto saves, so if you have crashes like this, it's very convenient. Because I know this is going to be an issue when mods start becoming a thing. Because the mods are going to make the game unstable. And it's nice having like three auto saves at least per turn, which is really great. Here we go. 
Yeah, it was just before I disbanded everybody. Yeah, it is just before I disbanded everybody. I'm just gonna click the button myself. It's a little slower, but I don't want to accidentally cause the game to crash. Although I don't know if that was a specific reason why I did. Okay, but yeah, you guys here. Um, I grabbed the temple, and then I was recruiting more legionnaires here for you. You, you're fine. You, recruit more legionnaires. You guys can't do much, can't do much. And then you guys can get over here to disband now. Okay, because that gives how many units? Okay, that gives 60 units per. So I do kind of hate that it's kind of capped at the, uh, the same amount for everyone, because I can't add like 240 guys per. There we go. Uh, ooh, you guys can get something. Let's grab... Also, I'm still wondering... Yeah, culture penalty. I need to slowly replace all the buildings that I've got too, because it seems like that contributes to my cultural penalty. So let's get those better walls first. That's why I kind of really love taking these lands from the Romans. The Romans don't have any cultural penalty. Oh, Lombardi, please don't do anything. You know what, Rome? I'm going to accept that for now. They're offering me money for a ceasefire. I'll take it. Because I'm going to be trying to take out Saxons now. Oh, and it auto just retrains dudes. Nice. I don't have to do that myself. That's a beautiful thing. I do need more cav. I'll probably try and recruit some here at some point. And then also get more... Oh, actually, give me more of these guys. I'll give you a cat instead, actually. You guys, next turn will be something or something. We're doing far better for ourselves now. I love this. Yeah, because how have we been doing, actually, if we look at... Let's see. Faction Summer. I want to kind of look through this. We have kind of been ignoring this a little bit. So we've... So far, let's see, we've got Londinium as our capital, we've got 17 family members, 25,000, regions rolled 7, battles won, 16, 7 lost, 5th uh, in mil uh, overall, 8 in military, 5th in production, 4th in territorial, 6th financial, and 5 in population. We only have one ally, I guess some of my allies uh, were broken with me any of my war with the Romans. Um, let's see, top 5. So top five, I'm actually in the top five right now. That's nice. Um, Eastern Rome has been pretty stable. Western Rome dropped drastically, and they've kind of stabilized and improved a little bit. Sassanids and Huns are actually the next strongest after that. I'm not in the top five for military. It's still the Romans. Sassanids are doing really good. Production, I'm eh, barely fifth. Territorial, I'm slowly climbing. Romans are still slowly decreasing. Financial, I'm doing better. Slowly but surely, I'm doing better. Hmm, okay. And so far, it seems like most people are kind of neutral with me. Got some allies down here. We're about to at least get rid of the Saxons soon. What's our family tree actually look like right now? Oh my god, there's so many dead guys. <laughs> We're just gonna ignore that fact that I don't re didn't realize I had so many of them die. Oh, that's so bad. Let's see. What else is going on here? We got my military forces. I do like this. This is a really nice little feature here where I can kind of click on an army and kind of see where they are and see what they've got right now. I really like this. My agents. And I have like none of my agents are really doing much. Hey, oh, Halo Fords. How's it going, man? Let's see. Let's do one more end turn, and then I think we'll be done for now. Hordes arrive. Oh, hi there. Hey, no There's a lot of them. Broken their alliances. Man, they don't like that a lot. Good, you? I'm doing pretty good. Um, this is actually about pretty much kind of the end of the stream. This is a pretty good one. Uh, we struggled a lot. Lost a lot of generals, as we can see with how many guys I got killed in my family tree. But I know for myself, um, I'm just about to be helping out with kind of the little birthday combined thing we're doing for my girlfriend and my roommate here. But... I think for now, it's actually going to be a pretty good place to end this stream for now. Um, I can't go any further with how much I can show at the moment. Um, there's still going to be the videos previously afterwards. Probably because I wasn't here. 
don't know. Um, but yeah, no, so I'm going to be going for now. Uh, don't want to go over my limit again. Uh, but yeah, no, thanks guys for stopping by. I'll be doing more of this campaign next weekend too. So I'll hope to see you guys there. I might actually do more. No, I can't do it anymore until, yeah, next weekend. Um, so thanks guys for stopping by.